The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Wait. Viewer discretion advised. Fuck it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that. You are? No. They can't pull me, pull me proof, mate. Ah, oh, I see ya. Fucking hell. You pull me a Welsh, mate. Welsh. Same. 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 Definitely not the same thing. <laughs> 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 it's literally <laughs> exactly the same. It's the same thing. <laughs> there is no difference. It's like fucking 10k's yeah. difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, a pommy sound okay, guy. It's on the board of it. Hey, right. <laughs> so there's, um, there's, ear, there's earphones he, for your ears? No. <laughs> just about. I, did, I just I met you. It was well. only going to be a matter of time before that couple. I'm sure you just took I one of the, the first questions. questions. <laughs> <laughs> now you start. Energy, mate. Go on, mate. Energy. Energy. Like Energy. You did before. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous. Ready? Go. <laughs> first time. <laughs> Mr. Bolamanaka o Kemuni Naturanga Kena Marama Kemuni Vakarongo Chikumai Nayadangu uh, Nayadangu Ko Ryan Frini my Brisbane Auvia Kinavaki Kemuni Kede Navukini Porokarama <laughs> Nivosavak Viti Edaka Chiko Rena uh, Madawa Ongo Buller everyone Happy Fijian Language Week <laughs> It sounds like you've just said all my Fijian mates first and last names. Semi Tazalala. Nisa Budavinaka, Naya Vagusian, and Nahelu, Ao Karavo, Lau. Happy Fiji Day, and welcome to the Pig Athlete Club podcast, proudly brought to you by Budgie Smugglers, the supreme custom swimwear suppliers. If your team or club haven't got a pair of custom Budgie Smugglers, hit the link in the description and get smuggling like the rest of us. Before we uh, introduce our special guests, Oh, we've already introduced Ryan. Uh, <laughs> Bula. <laughs> now, introducing out of Radelaide, a current Manly Marlin, 24 caps for the USA Eagles, pro career that spans from the Waratahs, Western Force, Edinburgh Rugby, the Southern Kings in South Africa, and the San Diego Legions down in the dirty south of California. He enjoys long walks in the graveyard and hosing down Will Franklin's piss stained mattresses. <laughs> he is James Cecil Hilton Red. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Hello, hello. <laughs> and he's brought along a sidekick, a current free agent who spent the last two seasons as a Manly Marlin. A Welsh under 20 graduate came through the ranks out at London Scottish before dodging taxes out in Jersey in the English Championship. Back in high school, he was once voted as likely, most likely, to join the Universal Soldiers. <laughs> but all young Rory wanted to do when he grew up was end up in a garage in Brisbane recording a podcast <laughs> he's never heard of. So with great pleasure, pr- with great pleasure. <laughs> well, that's racist. With, oh, great, with great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> with great pleasure, on behalf of Make a Wish Foundation, we're grateful to make your total wish come through. Please welcome Rory the Dragon Whisperer Bartle. No, thanks for having me, Jen. Pleasure to be here. Welcome to the garage. Yeah, this is a well, good spot. Is, yeah. It looks way better on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the trestle table was a real big investment for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I got this from Bunnings. <laughs> what's, what's, what's BJ doing on Bunnings? How's that sponsorship <laughs> going? <laughs> BJ, <laughs> hook him up. Yeah. Boys, what brings you here to Brisbane, firstly? Um, so I work for Paladin, um, gear provider, and we supply corporate tents tomorrow at West. Yes. Um, and then we also do Byron Bay Sevens. So we supply a sponsor that too. So um, Rory's doing his farm work because he's an immigrant. <laughs> in yeah. Ingress, so I left Sydney, picked him up on the way <laughs> and um, brought him up here for a bit of weekend because he was going a bit loopy. Yeah, yeah he's not wrong. He saved me, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into your, your little stories, um, how did you guys meet and what was it like when you guys first met? Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, um, it was actually... I landed in Sydney yeah. the day before Manly played Rats at Rat Park. So the day before the derby, didn't really know what to expect, and then ended up with this mental ground, like eight thousand people, jet lagged as hell, but everyone's on the charge. And then before I know it, that was all said and done, and we went to this rough ass little pub. Tom uh, Card. 
big court session and Cecil was judge, jury and executioner. <laughs> so I got to see him in his yeah. finest moments yes. straight from the off. I just see this pasty, like slender man <laughs> walking around the stands at the, at the rats going, who is this prick? <laughs> All the old boys are there just pining over him, new recruit. <laughs> and then, yeah, take him, he gets to see the sights, took him to Chroma which is the dog's ass of the Northern Beaches um, to the time and tide, which nobody's touched that place for like 50 years. We had a court session out the back, set up like this uh, table, Last Supper style. Um, yeah, that was a big Sounds night. like a dream. Yeah, it was. <coughs> well, we'll go back to your humble beginnings. Where are you guys from originally? Adelaide, born and bred. Yep. And? Yeah, Cardiff boy. Cardiff, ooh. Mm, Why are you got a British accent? Because uh, I left Cardiff when I was like 16, um, just to play footy in England and Bum, bumbled around there for 10 years so yeah I've lost the accent which is a shame from the valleys you're from the valleys once upon a time valleys. I did sound like I was from the valleys <laughs> but you shift it as quickly as possible <laughs> oh that was a good show in the kutch in the kutch yeah. what's a kutch the car cuddle oh yeah kutch is Welsh for a cuddle oh, C-W-T-C-H yeah, I don't know how they spell it. It's just like they got a shotgun full of wealth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to the supermarket there. Oh, man. Not, you're not going to find anything. If you're dyslexic, you're some fucking spell. <laughs> <laughs> and you just die. You just die. <clears throat> Funny but, that, because you're known as the cuddler too. So. Oh, have you guys got... Are you guys single or... <laughs> they even drink beer the I appreciate same. you checking beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seth? <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah, you, Sean? Status unknown for Sassel. Yeah, ah. we'll leave it at unknown. <laughs> um, speaking it's of complicated, unknown. it's complicated. Yeah, that tag. So, how did you? you that, you're from Adelaide. Mm. Not big for the, not known for the rugby. How did you yeah. end up in Manly of all places from Adelaide, mate? Because Sydney Uni are a bunch of pricks and stitched me up for one. Yeah, yeah. Carry so on. I was actually supposed to go up to Sydney and play for them, but oh. um, the coach at the time literally just cut me off. So I transferred all my uni and everything over to come up yeah. and play for Sydney. It actually worked out really well because I'm glad I didn't go there. Um, but um, then was just left in the lurch, like transferred my uni up and this and that and the other from Uni SA, and um, was sort of just left stuck in Adelaide. And yeah. just by chance, a friend of a friend um, knew Turtle, Damien Cummins, yeah. who was coaching Colts at the same time. Um, Yarn to my mum on the tram at the time. Um, and then probably a week later, I was up in Northern Beaches doing like a bit of a trial test out, whatever with Colts. Yeah. Um, and then just went, yeah, went well and moved up however long later. And that was 2007, eight. So that's how. Just straight after high school? Yeah. Yeah. I graduated young. So I did a year of uni at like 17, 18 years old. What did like you, you study? Exercise sports science. You finished it? Yeah, I did actually. And then did a postgrad in biomedical science, but that's really got me just a massive debt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that uh, piece on. of paper means shit. <laughs> yeah. And now work for Paladin. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Selling sell, jerseys. Yeah, sell rugby jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. And yourself, Raw. How's it? What, did you go to. You didn't, oh, yeah, you left when you were 16, so Cardiff. Yeah, so I went to Hartbury College. Oh, I'm not sure if it is that Chappy? Boys, but heaps of. Uh, yeah. Is that heaps, Chappy heaps School? Yeah, is that Chappy? Is it, Lee, is Lee Chapman? Chapman? Don't know where Lee Chapman yeah, They got like yeah. a fair few of the England squad the minute came out there. Oh, yeah. Um, he, he does rave on about it. Yeah, they go well, real yeah, well. Yeah, so yeah. managed to get myself up there and then bumbled around in the championship. As you said, went to Jersey, did my tax. <laughs> that was a good time. Yeah. Jersey's was a good? good time. Left it there, like don't have a bad word to say about it. I'm real time. But then did, after seven years in that championship, I was just like, it gets a bit stale. Slog. The rugby is a slog. You're at the court yeah. face every week. Um, and I figured 26, how many years have I got left? I can either keep doing this or hit the road and use my rugby as like a segue to go see a bit of the world. Yeah. So that's what I went for. So I did six months out in the States yeah. um, in Charlotte, North Carolina, which was <laughs> different, but wicked. Uh, and then that came to an end and flew out here and just jumped into things with the mines. It was yeah. unreal, loving it. North Carolina, it's supposed to be pretty fun there though, isn't it? Yeah, Charlotte's a cool city. Like, yeah. heap, like they pride themselves on their like breweries, craft beers and stuff. So yeah, just yeah. Bar, IPA, IPA you can bar ice. crawl the whole city. Yeah, um, and the rugby. I was just playing for a little Div Two rugby club, but it was class. Like, yeah, I think, back I to think a few of them were sending photos of you getting cramped up in a little. Oh, a little the back, yeah, Keelan over something. in the back. That was playing for the East. So we played. A, uh, I got asked to play for a in fixture like East Coast against West Coast. Yeah, so we meet at sort of mutual ground. So we played that game in um, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, oh. The reason I was cramping was because I was like, Fuck, it's an eight-hour drive. Like I'm going to yeah. go make the most of it. So I went up a couple of days early sent it a bit too hard yeah, two days before and then play this game and those boys do it different of them and we 
we met the day before the game. Like I've played for a couple of select teams, like chuck together sides. Yeah. Usually you just meet the day before the game, yeah, run yeah. a couple of attack plays, whatever it's low key. Yeah. We met the day before the game and trained for three hours. <laughs> In Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> and I was like, this is barbaric. What are you like, doing? What? 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 Yeah. Mate, a lot. Like micro detail. We're talking which foot to have forward in the defensive <laughs> oh, line, depending fuck. what touch line you're defending off. When you're playing the next day. And I'm like, oh. boss. <laughs> but that's the way they do it, so you try and embrace it. And then yeah. two hour warm up pre game. <laughs> I'm still full of Jack Daniels and Coke. Like, we're in Tennessee, you make the most of it. Yeah. So, by the end of the game, I was keeling over. Keeling Fucking over. But hell. I'm real time. Like, those boys play hard and they go hard. So, yeah, East Coast Panthers. I got a lot of love for them. East Coast Panthers. Mm. The Panthers. Backhanded Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different thing where I'm from. <laughs> but go back to your, your childhood. What Did you guys play any other sports other than rugby? Yeah, I did. I grew up with a pretty sporty mum and dad. Yeah. So, dad's obviously American. So I played baseball growing up um, and basketball. And then mum played tennis, so I played tennis. Yeah. So I just grew up doing anything and everything, really. I was still hugely fat and <laughs> Were you chubby, were you chubby boy? Oh, man. <laughs> I was, um, I actually did a fair bit of rowing. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah, it, you it, it actually, like a rower. Yeah, it wasn't until I got, was taking the rowing seriously and became reasonably like, big and athletic that yeah. I actually got chucked some opportunities. We had, yeah, chucked a few opportunities rugby-wise because they were like, oh, you're bit of a freak for my age athletic wise maybe we can teach you to play rugby and they start yeah. they still haven't succeeded <laughs> watch, watch him try and pass a footy seriously it's like the first time he's done it every time <laughs> oh no God. just him and doubt you know just go, go. Yeah, pin, just the around yeah, pin the ears oh, literally yeah. When I first saw you on, on the pitch, I think the commentator must have said, you're one of the young guns coming up. I'm like, fuck, he's a big young gun. <laughs> young guns, 26. <laughs> yeah. Acts like he's 36, though. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's fucking old, though, in, like, first grade these days. Oh, 26. It's, it's, yeah. it's a young man's game now, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's fast as fuck. Every, interna every international tier one, so it's got, like, 19, young man's 20 year game. You wouldn't know. Uh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> young man's oh, no, game. I'm you sitting here, I'm 33. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 35, mate. Yeah. I'm old as fuck. <laughs> Who's um? Who would be your best pl best player on the field? Two part question: mm. the best player you've played with on the field, and who's the best off the field in all your travels? They're very very different characters, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very different characters. Not many can do both. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. I I can have a dabble at a couple. Um, yeah, okay. Is Go he on. is he at the Tars? Because he was like so much bigger and more athletic than you actually think he is he is actually massive yeah <clears throat> like second row status type yeah. thing yep. like and then super super athletic um he was yeah was he off the piss at that time <laughs> I, oh. I don't know <laughs> anyway yeah. so, carry on. um <laughs> off the field um it's probably a fella from scotland from Alloa. yeah Actually, two: Sean Kennedy from Alloa in Scotland, and then Jack Cuthbert from Cuthbert. Bristol, from Bristol, <laughs> who actually was at Jersey for a little bit. And this fella, like honestly, so I'd, I say Sean Kennedy was the best off the field. So I know my way around a beer too. So me and him went to <laughs> Oktoberfest with Jack Cuthbert, and me and him were sort of we knew we could have a crack, and we knew Jack could take it to another level. So everyone put us in charge of looking after Jack. Yeah. So this, so this fella's like my, him, he's minders seriously, and that's us minding him. So this fella's like 190, 195 centimeters, probably one fifth, one ten, one fifteen kilo um, fullback. Holy shit! Yeah, massive unit. Bust his shoulder when he was growing up, so he's missing a peck. Yeah. So he's got that fair dinkum caved in set up yeah. over here, looking yeah. like some sort of spider crab thing. Yeah. And um, so we walk got, out of fucking three hundred. They unleash. <coughs> yeah, the creepy looking. <laughs> unit. Yeah. Yeah, but can play footy. Yeah. Anyway, so we go over to Oktoberfest. Me and Sheeb sort of tease him a little bit the first night. Sean tease him a little bit. Like, have a couple of beers, have a couple of beers. And he's like, no, no, you know I can't do that. And he's looking at us dead in the eyes. And I'm going, after two or three, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm fair dinkum. So the next day we get to Oktoberfest. So we rock up at like nine. Um, and there's this hectic, massive line. We eventually get in at like 11, 11.30. He yeah. didn't have tickets or a table, but just managed to scalp some shit on the yeah, way yeah. Cruise in, sneak this dodgy ass table. So getting at like 11, 11.30, first beer doesn't come until one. And these beer, these wenches have to, they're genuinely called wenches, have to bring you the beers. So this chick carries out like 12 of these steins or whatever, a litre each. <clears throat> and by that time, we're all joking about, oh, we'll just crush the first one, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You get the first one and it's intimidating. Like you look at it and you go, <laughs> fuck, that could break me here yeah. this could fuck me anyway we were all that thirsty because we waited that long that we went and buffed it 
Next minute, probably three, four hours later, me and Sheeves look at each other. We've fucking just lost. <laughs> we've lost Jack. <laughs> and we've looked at each other and gone, where's Jack? Oh, no. And we've started fucking panicking, running around, running around. And then that amount of time we lost him after like, I don't know, fucking 30 minutes looking for him. We also just stopped looking for him. We just stopped, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <but man. laughs> don't see him for the rest of the night. Next thing we hear, the dude's on a flight back to Edinburgh. He's fucked it. So you can only get beers from the wenches. So he's been gotten that pissed in however long and walked up to the bar and gone, hey, can I get oh. fucking 10 steins? And the chick's gone, no, no, no. Oh, the bloke has gone, no, no, you can't. Like, you got to get yeah, the wench yeah. to serve you. And he's gone, fuck this. He's like climbed over the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> to hit him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like 10 of these German bouncers have just pulled him out the back fuck. and just rattled him, <laughs> rattled him. So he's gone to hospital, gotten all messed up and then just gone, you know what? Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> and then just bails. Poor Jack and his one yeah. peck. I, ne- I never yeah, crossed. No chance. Yeah. I never crossed paths with Jack Cuthbert at Jersey. But for my first two years there, we did still cop the collateral damage <laughs> in his time there. Like if you go up to bars and they take one look at this and be like, "There's no rugby players near here," and you trace it back and it's like, "Oh yeah, it was Jack Cuthbert." Yeah. That's the reason behind that. Just, did you just fucking just a chew back and just, <laughs> just turn into a monster? Yeah. Properly and like the best bloke on and off the field, definitely someone you want your team, definitely someone you want to be around on, off, like off the field, but then just has another gear, yeah, yeah. like has another, another gear. gear. Jesus. Yes, mate. And I did a couple of trips with him once to Amsterdam, too. Oh, oh. Yeah. got real weird. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't go home, he, we kept it like PG MA 15 plus because he didn't go home, but uh, yeah. he still got up some crook shit. Yeah, we've got to look him up for our Asian tours. He yeah. sounds like he sounds like he sounds like it. He's, he's <laughs> made for it. Either die, take or love it. There's a real weird line in age. You just don't know when to cross it. You either die or you just fucking you, you wake up and you're like, what the fuck is about that? Seriously. What the fuck? So I reckon he would have to be because just the, the gears that he had, he'd have, probably have to be the best off off field. Yeah, and I'm probably easy on field for me. I think. Where are you, Rory? <laughs> Were you were you at Jersey with uh, Pin, uh, Pincus? Yes, I was at Jersey oh, okay. with Tom with Pincus. Gorgeous, isn't yeah. He? He's probably he is a good looking bloke. Yeah. If, if the question was reversed, it was like the worst player you know on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say. Yeah. I was just about to say. It. I'm like, come on, just give it a nudge, Pincus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what position was he? Winger, full full back oh, winger, winger. Like, <laughs> guns, yeah. gun in the air. Oh. Yeah, and he made a career out of it. Too, con- too concerned about chicks, eh? Don't want to get too. Mate, he was gorgeous too, man. He wouldn't even had to do anything. And he's ripped. How Tanned, was. fuck him. His legs. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I went. Me and him went to Budapest together. Yeah. When he was at Jersey, just the two of us on like a little two-man mission, and I was just clawing to get him to just make. Just look, we're in fucking hungry. Just let your hair down and send it. It's twenty p a pint. Yeah, hungry. Is Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And he just, he just wouldn't like. In the end, it's like. I admire you for your discipline. I <laughs> fucking hate you. I hate you. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> just nah. beat him. <laughs> now, nah, best play, best player I've played with is probably a fella called Robbie Ferguson. He captains Scotland Sevens now. Oh yeah. But yeah. I copped him like when he was still focusing on his fifteens. He came down to London Scottish for a bit, and the bloke was just gun. Like if you needed something to the light of a game, yeah. Unreal player, and I know now he focuses all his energy on sevens, and he's Fuck the that, poster hey. boy for Scotland. Yeah, fair enough. I think had he decided is he that to go big a guy? different route, no, <laughs> he's like athletic, but he's not big strap. I'm, I'm talking. You might as well not have heard of him, like heard of him, but I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, gun, yeah. gun rugby player, and a lovely, lovely bloke with it. So I trained with Scotland sevens once. Oh, <laughs> so, so I was on my contract yeah. with Edinburgh, and this is not good. <laughs> How do you qualify for Scotland? Uh, mum. Okay, mum. So, yeah. Mum's Scottish, Dad's, Dad's American. Yeah. Um, so, this is at a point in Edinburgh. So, they have big squads in the UK. So, they have like 50 plus squads. <clears throat> you know how it's real tight? It's like 30, 35, super yeah. Yeah, whatever it is, and it's real strict. You can't have people outside of that. So, we're, I was in like a 50 summit man plus <laughs> squad. That. And it got to the point. We would have all made it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, they're just giving them out participation, they're giving out contract. And so, they, they got to a point where they were like, right, we've actually got to pick like a 23 and then we've got to pick a training squad. Yeah. And if you're not in the training squad, you don't get to train. Yeah. Which is bizarre. <laughs> so there's like, I don't know, three, four, five of us that didn't get picked in the training squad for the week. <laughs> but they're like, well, you can train with Scotland Sevens. And then we're in the backfields of Murrayfield training with Scotland Sevens. 
Yeah, like front row in Scotland. That's so good. <laughs> like that's this would have been a wet track, so it wouldn't be as bad. <laughs> or maybe it would have been worse. Mate, as a front row, I try in Scotland sevens, just getting absolutely rinsed. Hold your with. <laughs> oh, yeah, running switchbacks and this and that and the other. Like yeah. no scrums, no yeah. rucks, no mauls. Just heaps of fucking like, what's the fucking yeah, j- yeah lateral movement yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of shit. What, like, what we're really built for as well, yeah. isn't it? Front It'd be rows. at the point where you, you're so out your depth that it's not even a positive to be taken. It's just demoralising. <laughs> What, not getting picked in the training squad? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then your reward for not getting picked is you just go and get rounded by these blokes. <laughs> yeah, just get run around. Who's the, who's the best off the field for you? <laughs> Again, probably a fella no, no one will ever have heard of him, but I know he'll appreciate the shout out. Played with a hooker in Cardiff, Cardiff yes. RSC called, <laughs> called, called, front row, called Evan Yardley. Um, <laughs> strong would, name. Would definitely go strong in the budgie smugglers most average rate. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? but, Gum bloke, and he would, he could you could cop a fifty in a loss, and he would find a way to liven up the bus. On the way. <laughs> yeah, like, he was yeah. champion, mate, absolute champion. Oh. Sometimes you don't like those guys, eh? Hey, because you just want to be like, in and the- that's you want to hate them. And at the beginning, you're like, Evs, but leave it out. But he'll fight, he'll turn everyone on the <laughs> bus. Yeah. 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 So good. So good. Yeah. After all, you just give in. Yeah, <laughs> fuck, that's funny. Dude, what's that? What's that squad called in the in the US? If you don't make the Wolverines. the Wolverines, yeah, yeah. Was that like you're howling at the moon type thing the night before a game? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> you laugh. It's serious. It's a legit thing, man. Like they take it real seriously. And I again, like just being a humble dude. Like I used to be like captain of the Wolverines, for a while, <laughs> which is basically you're not getting picked to place. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I was having a look at your your Wikipedia, and they're like, "Hey, my brothers wrote that." <laughs> I'm like, "Whoever's written this is is, is yeah, genius." Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. "Yeah, he was select, but he didn't play. He selected here, didn't play. He selected here, didn't play." Yeah, 100%, captain bro. of the Wolverines, yeah. <laughs> cap, cap, oh. fifty caps for the Wolverines. <laughs> 100% bro yeah. And so MV- walk us MV- with that MVPs yeah. each, each Wolverines cap so I was wondering I was like mate you've got to have the worst agent <laughs> <laughs> me my own agent I got sick of the pricks because they wouldn't get me gigs yeah. so I was like bugger this I'll do it myself <laughs> Did not work out good negotiating the contract to end up, right? <laughs> I ended up at the Kings and they fell through. <laughs> oh, the year they... Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, well, so with the Wolverines... Um, with, Actually, we'll go back to how you ended up in, in the States. The decision to go over and, and have a crack there. Yeah, so um, it was... So, it was actually a little bit of a dice roll at one point to play, um, and this is probably the, the least humble story I've got. It was, it was a bit of a dice roll to play Super Rugby or go over to the States at one point yeah. because they had that foreign cap, international oh, cap yeah, that's rule, true, yeah. which yeah. they say for big dogs, right? They yeah. only use for like All Blacks or some hectic dudes from overseas. Yeah, so not the captain like, of the Wolverine. <laughs> not, oh, no, at this point I hadn't played yet, but no, I hadn't played at the point. So I was just first grade Manly Marlins fella, and um, the guy <laughs> from the States, Mike Tolkien, wanted me to come over and play. And I was sort of sniffing around, like hopefully summon Tars or Force or whatever, but didn't have anything on the go. Yeah, yeah. And then um, just punted on it. I was just like, right, I, well, I won't do the Force because I'm definitely not going to play Super Rugby if I'm one of those cap dudes. Yeah. Um, so I decided to have a crack and then um, picked up a gig at the Force, thank God. Um, and was Daruda as annoying there as he is now still? just Mate, I reckon, honestly, you know how you got those memories in your heads of, of stuff that you, if you're ever in a deep, dark place, you can think about and you can laugh? Yeah. I've got one about Daruda, which is <laughs> yes, <laughs> at, at Curl Stadium, which is Curl Park. It's a shithole. Yeah. Dog track where we train for the Marlins. And um, he was starting 10, and I'm pretty sure Blakey was the coach. And Blakey's pretty hard on people. <clears> like, it gets in your face, like helps you, or helps you, like belittles you to then figure out actually what the problem is to then fix the type thing it breaks um, you down builds you back up that one yeah. that yep. one classic Luck- uh, glass yeah, yeah yeah so <laughs> D- D- Daruda had a second Blakey which was this one random dude that used to sleep at Manly Oval a homeless fella yeah who used to travel from Manly Oval to Kell Park Tuesday Thursdays to l- abuse Daruda on the training paddock <laughs> <laughs> he used to stand on the side of the field in this feel- full fe- Obi-Wan Kenobi outfit like a yeah. full Phoenix <laughs> <Jedi> outfit <laughs> Daruda <laughs> And like the first session, Daruda, oh how funny is this? Second session, oh how funny is this? Third, fourth session, he honestly probably had to go see someone about it. It rattled him <laughs> so what, did you, what was the guy's nickname? The, just the Jedi. The Jedi. <laughs> like Jedi. full feeding him Obi-Wan Kenobi outfit, just used to sit in the sideline. Daruda <laughs> This is a training, bro. <laughs> this is a training for <laughs> shoot shield footy on a Tuesday, Thursday. He used to come down and spray him. And it got in his head. Oh, that was the funniest thing. I'm going to ask him, what's your favourite movie tomorrow? Jedi. <laughs> so um, do you like Jedi's, mm. by any chance? <laughs> See what he says. Fuck, hate, that's funny. Hate, mate, it was so funny. He picked him out. I don't know why. It was so <laughs> funny.
And it worked because he went on to have a lustrous wall. Oh, did it? <laughs> <laughs> it really rattled him. <laughs> but um, I wanted to ask, you've spent uh, a fair few years in the championship. What's the difference? Because we, you know, Shoot Shield's sort of our championship sort of level. Uh, what's the difference in the, in the, in the game? Oh, the first thing that stands out when you get amongst it is like, it's fun. Yeah. That's the, that's the biggest one. Like, it's attacking rugby, heaps more ball in play. You just get more chance to have a crack, yeah, especially yeah. as a front five forward. Like you can work your ass off in the championship for eighty minutes, you might get like five touches <laughs> yeah. of the ball. Like, um, drums. So yeah, that stood out just way at a, a better level of attack. Yeah. Um, what other things caught me off? But then yeah, like perhaps set piece things fall down a little bit, suffer somewhat. But it's just a consequence of where as the clubs invest their energy. Like we go out and train with the Marlins, we train attack seventy percent of the time we spend on field, whereas in the UK it's probably invert it yeah, yeah. Like you just train the D breaks down a little bit over here but individually boys can bang <clears throat> like I've been rattled a couple of times when you run you run you run a somebody, you can't step in you run some of these Polynesian <laughs> boys man they <laughs> light you up oh, oh fucking nose <laughs> mate so like, nose. yeah defence maybe not great tackling Good. Yeah, yeah you, it's uh, good to, that you're on uh, Lucky Gleason's side. Yeah, fuck, what a freak. Jesus, Bro. man. The nicest, Terminator. nicest, most Good lad. I might, I might almost change my best player you've ever played with. Yeah. He's, he's, he's actually probably my favourite favorite player at the moment. So like 20, 20 or something. 21. 20. Yeah. Fuck. I'm raw, man. Like, his yeah. rugby understanding's not where it will eventually yeah. get what does he but understand run so straight destructive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. don't run straight hold at Delangi <laughs> yeah hold that and just skittle him yeah. he does it unreal he's fucking so good man. that yarn about the winger coming off his wing at Sydney Uni that <sighs> smoked him yeah like he scared the fuck out of the whole Sydney Uni forward pack the next scrum yeah and just looked up nobody said anything to him he just looked up and said you're all fucked <laughs> <laughs> and then that, their whole scrum like didn't even like you know you might chirp yeah, back yeah, or something yeah. like this they all went oh, I know enough about this guy that he yeah. actually will fuck. Yeah, up. yeah he's so yeah. good. And then lo and behold, if ever you get watch the last fifteen minutes of that game, he's mm. just ironing people out. You know, isn't that that is it? Tuisese, the flanker yeah, yeah, from yeah, uh, Eastwood. Uh, Eastwood. Yeah, he can yeah. whack dudes too. He's yeah, he can carry Pell. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking yeah. good. Yeah. Carry he's, good he's a good fella too. Yeah, <clears throat> you know when it's, you put like a good shot on someone, or someone puts a good shot on you, and they give you like one little. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> He's got some gnarly footwork as well. Yeah, yeah man. Mate, it, but I was fucking. I loved watching more of the shoot. I've never really watched it until this year. Shoot shield. Yeah, it's, it's on stand. You can watch. I it. guess you stick it in your own little little yeah. design, don't you? It's if fucking in, awesome, man. If you're in Brizzy, you watch Brizzy. If you watch if yeah. in Sydney, you watch Sydney. I don't know why that game at the end of the year isn't bigger <clears throat> between Brisbane and Sydney. Like the, uh, the whatever. Oh, it's because they put it at the start of the season. They put it at the start of the season. They need to put it the, <clears throat> the week after. Yeah. After finals, and then that should be even an all stars team as well. That, that should so be, and the, I th you know what the problem is I think because Sydney Union always win in Sydney nobody gives a shit about them but like for example <laughs> yeah. if Marlins won and we got to play up in Brizzy or vice versa yeah, play, sick. I'd be teeing off be sick. it's I, fucking funny the funny stuff that shoot shield finals is these banners that get made up yeah and I remember one time and it was, I think it was back when Tom Carter was playing someone wrote a massive banner I forget Jeez, what, doesn't he, wasn't he, he's a good bloke off the field but wasn't he fuck with playing <clears throat> yeah he was a punish on the field mm. like probably the lippiest <laughs> most shit talking dude I've yeah. ever played against <laughs> Um, but someone made a banner and the final was Tom Carter listens to Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck, it was hilarious, bro. And then any, like any blokes that changed clubs during the derby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some of the shit that got written on the banners. Oh, mate. And people used to take, uh, I remember one year we played the Rats, this is a while ago, like 2011, someone brought like a paper mache rat, like almost the same size as this table. <laughs> It was fucking big. Like someone put yeah. some effort into it, and then lit the bastard on fire. <laughs> oh, oh, it was God. it was fucking like it was a bit bizarre, bro. Was then it started like a bit of a mob mentality? Yeah. Because yeah, then yeah. they threw the rat in the ground and started like. Kicking <laughs> the <Yeah. ball. laughs> what is the derby day like? We, we were supposed to come down this year, but we didn't end up doing. But fuck, we want to. Yeah, we've got to put on the on the list yeah. next year. Yeah, it's it's yeah. I mean. Uh, to me, it's sort of like all I've known. Like, yeah, yeah. like Turtle, Damien Cummins, who's probably one of the- Was that what you did the, that was a, what did you do? Red shorts, pink shorts, was it? Yeah. Oh, no, we wore those for Rusty. The oh, start Rusty. Of the year. Oh, yeah. So Rusty's one of our volunteers that's been around forever. Probably yeah. one of the, I mean, Marlins shoot shield rugby, like in general, one of yeah. the most known figures. Um, he passed away, unfortunately. He had some red shorts that faded to pink. Yeah. yeah. So we played in those shorts for Yeah, that'll see. Yeah, it was cool, yeah. man. What's up? Cool. 
what was that? What's your guys? Was it the wall club? Was that thing? The boom boom. Yeah. Boom boom. That's so like no other. Like, yeah. 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 yeah I, like, I don't like, know. Slaps. It's so, <laughs> such a good crack. <laughs> yeah. Lids off. It's only been like it's it's been the boom boom for as long as I've known. It's never yeah. changed. You know, it's not something new at all. Which is what was bizarre. It's been around forever. Oh, true. What about for you, Rory? Coming into like Manly, like they're known for the massive social club nights compared to over there in England. What's it? What's the difference in sort of like the club culture? I think like because you back home you're playing professional yeah, yeah and it makes a massive difference in the club culture kind of fizzles out with that yeah, yeah. like a jersey as much as I've talked as I'll praise the club like they were completely disconnected from the amateur side oh, okay yeah. so it's so refreshing like coming to Manly and people just couldn't do enough to help you <laughs> yeah. like everybody was so generous the piss ups are clean off because you're on the northern beaches like the world <laughs> yeah. the world's your oyster the in there best place, like yeah. I said my first day getting here derby day at Rat Park you walk in, there's 8,000 people cutting about in the crowd. And you're like, what the fuck have I signed up for here? Like, Jesus. And then Lange Gleason, Skitlin blokes. I'm like, I'm, I'm supposed to play like that. Yeah. Can't do that. Um, and then the following week's Ladies Day at Manly. Oh, and I was like, uh, how was that? How's Ladies Day at oh, Manly? Skits, mate. It's unbelievable. <laughs> And I was How'd you go? Yeah. Good stat. Me? No, I mate, I just hid my way at the back. I'm not. <laughs> it's the ears, like you've already pointed <laughs> out. <laughs> you look good now. He's unstoppable. He's unstoppable. He's a nice pair of beats. Dr. Dre beats. I feel like my gift to myself upon retirement, I'll have to get the collies and everything. An ear job. To get an ear job. An ear job. Not a boob job, not a blow job, but an ear job. Yeah. <laughs> but um, nah, like I again can't speak highly enough of it. Like, yeah. Unreal club and everyone there has just been so good to me. Man. So good. it's hard to let go though. We're getting older, hey Cecil, and it's just like, <clears> like mate, I, it's I played like one, two, oh, three games in total. I saw you year. make a comeback, and then um, I was still at the Madman. No, I was still this Sunday. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, going like, harder just, then than you did yeah, the other games. So much fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed, agreed. Yeah, man. I, um, I, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I was going to retire this year, but. That we just sucked so if i retired then i'd feel like a piece of shit so, yeah um you boys probably followed it but yeah it was a weird season for manly a eh? like top yeah. of the league rounds yeah, 12 yeah. or 13 and then the wheels just fell especially off. after last year like you guys yeah. oh we sucked for two guys, years yeah. yeah we sucked mate we won so much yeah we won so much this year that, yeah. our match payments like the club were like oh, must we, be nice we, no we got it we were still scraping the barrel like, <laughs> yeah. 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 We, no, they literally started hitting up sponsors for more money because like, we didn't expect them to oh, win yeah, right? <laughs> so they offered us good. these matches they were like yeah. ah they won't win them yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, fuck <laughs> seriously halfway through the year they were asking like the rich pay you in Thai bar oh fuck yeah, root beer. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, that's good chat. <laughs> didn't expect us to win, We didn't bro. think you could do this. No, <laughs> ah, you got us. You you tell the coach, ah, we'll, uh, we'll chuck on one of the <laughs> <third> greatest. <laughs> Prince Thirsty, they say. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll switch into USA Rugby because we've got a few USA Rugby fans that listen to the pod. Um, from your time in the States... What do you, because th- you guys have been gradually going up and then all of a sudden, I don't know, it's probably because you stopped playing, but <coughs> no, it's kind of- I didn't play that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like dropped down in recent years. What do you yeah. think? Do you- Mate, we had this real epic peak with Johnny Mitchell coaching. Yeah. Um, he's so- a good coach, eh? Yeah. Not that I know, but like- Oh, he coaches always all like, yeah. He, he's a hard ass. He's got a reputation as a hard ass, which he chilled out a bit. Um, but mate, we had it, my first tour, my first camp, we literally got uh, from the airport, we went to training together. Um, It was his first tour of my first tour. And um, mate, he's an epic coach. Mm. Like good bloke. Really good bloke. Loves piss. He's got some fucking weird stories of some (laughs) shit back in the day, like to do with like Waikato rugby and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Real Kiwi, like (coughs) gross shit, but that they thought was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Worse than the Poms? Or is it? Yeah, just wait, the, oh, yeah. Poms, Pom, Poms do like pint drinking stuff and maybe a scrap or whatever. Yeah. Versus the Kiwi dudes who was telling us a story about a bus trip that they all stopped to, to, on the bus on the way home from Waikato or wherever the hell they played to have a piss, and they just found like a dead dog on the side of the road, brought it on the bus. <laughs> Fuck me. You know what I mean? That's, that's weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is weird. And they're like, this, this, <laughs> is, this is good stuff. This is funny. Uh, <laughs> and but, yeah, if you Yule in in China, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Just walk, with a walk at the back, making. <laughs> <laughs> That's how COVID started. Um, uh, so, mate, we had him for a good few years, and he was like just that. 
invested in the blokes yeah in yep. the 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 guys in the team and um mate so i came from a rough patch getting punted from um southern kings because they just fucked up um and he basically sort of helped me build myself back up and he did that for so many other guys that um they played uh, for him but they also played for the team too and he yeah. set up this epic environment where we just were so successful because everyone was playing for more than rugby everyone loved rugby but yeah. they wanted to do it for something more yeah. um so things have gone a bit shit because he got flicked punted yeah. left type thing um, so Gary Gold's the coach, which, you know, you can blame whoever you want for success or failure or whatever, players, coaches, doesn't matter. But we're, we're just in a real lucky period with John Mitchell looking after us. That Those are good players too. Yeah, mate. Uh, you were talking before about, like, uh, who's the best player I've been with, but Paul Lasique is a fellow who I was oh, going to say who... NFL. Yeah, yeah. He, played, he was a fullback for the Chicago Bears. Yeah. And so fullbacks are the pricks that, like, they uh, block for the running backs. Oh. So quarterback, Blue 32, Omaha, bullshit. Um, gives the ball to the running back, but the fullback plugs a hole from the defensive lineman. Yep. So th- this fella's 120, 125 yeah. clicks, runs fast and hard. Yeah. That yeah. just runs against just little. Everyone's a bitch compared to him yeah. because he's 125 and runs that hard. Yeah. Jeez, so 125 he, and runs, bro. So I used to room with him, bro. What was his name? Paul Asik. I remember, I remember him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to looks be like a big head on him as well. Yeah. He looks like a Ninja Turtle, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honestly, he goes to dress ups as Ninja Turtle with the bandana and shit, and looks dead set like it. if he was green and not black, yeah. he would be a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> So he's he's up there. But it didn't yeah, take so long to transition too. I remember when he was at Chicago Bears, and then all of a sudden he's in USA system and he's gone pro yeah. and over in England. And he got offered his contract and he was like, Hey, um, I got offered this from the Saints. Uh, yeah. is this like a good contract? I was like, six figures it was like six figures. And I was like, mate, what are you getting at Utah? And Utah's like yeah, yeah. 10, 20 US. And he's like, Should I take it? And I was like, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's pounds too so mate, yeah yeah go. Take, take it bro and just the humblest nicest dude epic singer doesn't really drink when he drinks he just he's like a Japanese fella like has two or three yeah, beers yeah. and then <laughs> 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 Jay, seriously um, oh fuck but yeah mate like this, and he's one of those guys there's that many other US fellas like that sort of waiting in the wings yeah, yeah. yeah. like there's another another islander fella Lungi Lungi Haupukia he's nicknamed the widow maker oh for the Tini's Number eight, <laughs> yeah, yeah, number yeah. eight, yeah, yeah. We nicknamed him within a couple of weeks of USA camp the Widowmaker because yeah. he just kills dudes. <laughs> yeah, we just got um, Maggot Fest and we had one of the boys. We needed some fill-ins and we got one of the boys. Uh, is that the Patriots the last two years? But training squad. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Not um, um, oh, Sam Winfeller, Cash Maluia. Okay. And he came on just Maggot Fest social comp, and he's just dosing everyone and running everyone like. This guy's like, man, no, no, he shouldn't be here. He's going to kill someone. <laughs> yeah. So now he's in like the American Raptors squad yeah. making the transition. Which is a real interesting setup, bro. The Raptors is just literally like a, a, a privately owned, funded, run thing to just boost rugby. Yeah. The so it's not... It's it the used old to be Colorado. The, yeah. Denver, oh, is it? Yeah, Colorado, Denver Raptors. So yeah. it used to be a proper team. It used to play yeah. in a comp and compete against people and this and the other. Then they pulled out of MLR to just create like what is essentially like a... Rugby hub. A rugby factory. Mm. Yeah, like just produce dudes that play rugby. Yeah, yeah. Help there's a couple. Them. I played with a couple of boys over here. Rugby Denver's, town, rugby Denver's, town. Oh, rugby. <laughs> Denver's epic. We had our pre World Cup camp in Colorado Springs in Denver. Yeah. Oh mate, you think there's you you like you can't go out and you can't have fun because there's fuck all around. Yeah, by fuck you can't. You <laughs> could go out. And just do mate, it would have been the best to play for the like did the you, USA. Did you play club there or do you just fly I in play, from? No, I used to fly. I used to fly and yeah. fly out. I played one game for Chicago Lions. Oh. When I had came back from double shoulder Rico, I played with them versus New York. Night, uh, the old, old blue, old blue, yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah, funny, funny game. How man. good Chicago? Yeah, we stayed at the Drake when we were at Chicago, and all these pricks that worked in this hotel were like, "Hey, make sure you go right through the right door," because it was like a mafia mob hotel back in the day. Because yeah. apparently, if you go through the wrong door, you end up in like some trap door situation where it's like what dudes used to escape and like run away from the cops and shit like this. Fuck, mate, <clears throat> it was America, mate. Yeah, just going over there playing footy with the lads. Just be- Rory, the, your next destination. MLR. Well, mate, he was he was oh, in yeah. Charlotte. Yeah, I was over there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but yeah, it was like I kind of went for reasons other than rugby, and then just picked up rugby when I was there. Yeah, um, ended up playing Division Two for Charlotte, which actually was like the exactly what I needed in my like rugby <laughs> path at the time. You see, <laughs> so humble. I'm talking like <laughs> any lads who were injured were working behind the bar yeah. on game day just to try and get some cash coming in. But um, they yeah, would have been telling everyone in town about you as well. Well, it was weird though because we had we were playing Div Two, but we were the closest team to Atlanta that was half decent. So Atlanta would send us all their boys who weren't in that squad for various. Oh yeah, yeah. So we had like five MLR lads playing and myself 
in the team of 15 so we were we literally winning games by 100 points <laughs> 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 just going on the road and just hammering just a good blokes. confidence boost to the plane yeah but um uh, like it was a good time good on and the it was just, after yeah really good well those boys, <laughs> when, man when you drive eight hours for an away game the lads are going to make the most of it aren't yeah. they? Holy and like there's no buses like yeah. you can't afford a bus there's, there's just no money in the sport. Boys, lads are buying their own kit. It's a completely selfless act, yeah. club rugby over yeah. there. Yeah. It's, it's what can they do for rugby, not what can rugby do for them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that was actually a super refreshing thing to be yeah, honest. They so love, like, they love These dudes are just yeah, stoked yeah. to be here and they just, and they love it. And that's n and there's nothing more in it for them than that. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. That's fucking awesome. After having been at champ clubs for years where a lot of lads are in it like, trying to squeeze for a bit yeah, of money, yeah. throwing a hissy fix because they're not playing. It's yeah. like, Champs these lads- though, Champs are very selfish. Like, yeah, it's you like, don't well, play for your team, you play to Yeah, it has to be, because it's it's not a league that you can build anything out oh, of, the money's not there. Yeah. It's just a means to an end. It's yeah, yeah. You're trying to go pro 14 or prem. Yeah. What about fucking the Wasps? You hear about oh. them today? Oh man, so, it's rough. I've got going a couple today? Of, and Worcester. Today, bro, yeah, yeah Worcester so, gone. Yeah, yeah. Worcester gone, and I the Wasps have- The Wasps uh, today gone on administrator. Yeah, yeah. Canceled their game on the weekend. Yeah, I've got um, a couple of good mates of mine who are playing at Worcester. And fortunately, it looks like both of them have, have managed to land on their feet and yeah, get yeah. the prem contracts and one's off to France. But, yeah, I've been I, when I was at London Scottish, we we very nearly went into administration. Fuck. What's the go there? Just like someone pulls the funding, or well, the situation wasn't Worcester, it tax tax was, Worcester was tax. Yeah, yeah, man, I I don't they know. They fucked the up, and some bank counters thought they didn't have to pay tax or something, and then yeah. whoever went yeah, yeah right, <laughs> almost happened to Manly this year because yeah. he can't watch too many games. <laughs> 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 halfway through, they said, oh, <laughs> yeah. "Whoa, whoa, 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 Take Lange off. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Aussie, hey, yeah, take yeah, it, yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't actually know what the situation that led to at Worcester, but Fuck so I'm not going to speculate, yeah. but I just feel for the boys, like it's, it's a rough situation to find myself in. Like when I was in it, I was 19 years old, didn't have a mortgage or kids or nothing like that to worry about. It yeah. didn't matter. And we managed to land on our feet and kind of scrape through regardless. But some of those boys obviously have responsibilities, so fucking yeah. sucks, man. What, um, mate, walk us through your visa situation at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, came here, loved, like, so the intention was to just bounce around rugby clubs year by year, see a bit of the world, but I'll, I'm digging Australia, it's good fun, so I want to extend the visa. So you got to go and do some uh, rural work out in the country. Have you seen the movie Django? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a cross between that Django. That was based on him. Yeah, that movie Django. was based on him. <laughs> cross between Django and Yellowstone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to pick fruit for three months, so it was actually Turtle put me onto a fella with a, with a uh, cattle station. Yep. in the uh, middle of country New South Wales. Bingra. So I was like, yeah, I'll take a shot at it. Like, yeah. I'll, it'll be good crack. Like in my head, it was like wearing a cowboy hat, riding around on motorbikes, shepherding fucking cattle around. Yeah. Cut scene four days later, I'm pulling a calf that's half hanging out of the back of a cow. <laughs> like a one rip max deadlift <laughs> and you can't even, and I'm getting, can't even yeah, get it out. I'm getting nowhere with it. Um, oh. And I'm just like, oh, this is and this is different. Candace came, <laughs> Candace came along the yeah. dog. <laughs> yeah, we had to- um, Bondi vet, Candace. Yeah, man, it's- um, She pulled it, him out with a, her hand up yeah, the ass, rolling a dart. It's not. Oh, it's gnarly, oh, it's gnarly living out there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was out fencing, stumble across a cow calf hanging off at the back of it it's like there's no time to stop and think you just get yourself amongst it yeah, yeah. trying to pull this poor little bastard out end up having to call in vet rescue come up the elbow lube the thing up and yeah man it's different and i eventually did get it out but sadly i'm not from one because calf didn't make it <laughs> 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 I got it out. So sorry, guys. Just going to roar and murder the cow. They're calling me the Grim Reaper now. Like everything it touches just turns death. Grabbing him by the neck. Come on, little fella. Come on, little fella. Ah! Someone ring your RSPCA, mate. Oh my god. He's gone out to binger to kill cows. Yeah. It's uh, no, it's been an experience and no human contact for five weeks, literally. And then, as I say, Cecil comes. Picks me up, is like, mate, I'll, I'll save you for a weekend, take you to come play a bit of footy. It's brilliant. And then springs up on me, oh, by the way, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I haven't welcome. spoken to a human for five yeah. weeks. <laughs> you shook me on the Let podcast. it out, mate. Let it out. <laughs> Let it out, mate. Do you, get, do you get the internet out there, obviously? Oh, yeah, like just about, but mate. Just? It's, it's, it's humble living. It's monster style. <laughs> I, I left him with the head up that way. You know, get, get the old uh, paper pornos. <laughs> 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 They're still solid. <laughs> 
screenshot it when you do. Or, they're probably knocking the back. Or, 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 or if the reception's no good, you just get like the 10 or 15 second like, <laughs> highlights. The nails. Yeah. Or just close your eyes and try and use your memory. <laughs> you just got to rip through them real quick. Like, part of, it, part of why I went was like, so many heaps of people from the UK come to Australia and then yeah. they go home and claim it. Oh, I've been to Australia. And it's like, you haven't, man. You've gone sat on Bondi. <laughs> yeah. You've gone sat on Bondi and drunk four hours. You've seen fucking Australia. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, so I was like, I was itching for a little bit more. And then as soon as I got there, I was like, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> How much longer do you have? Oh, like another five, six weeks. Oh, that's not too oh. bad. Yeah, like knuckle down and get through it. <laughs> <laughs> See, kill a few more cows in the process. <laughs> wow. Download a few fucking movies before you go out, mate. Whoa. You do remind me. You remember that TV show Dexter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He reminds me of Dexter. <laughs> he's got that little he's smooth talker, but you know, he just set this go in his room. It's just plastic, <laughs> just blood everywhere, and just cows' heads. <laughs> it's like at first, could you suss me out? Because I couldn't. Sus- I bit, I hate it. Sass off the first two weeks I was in Miami. Why? What did you, did I, what did you I couldn't suss oh, you out. Oh, yeah. the court session. I didn't I couldn't suss you out at all for the first two weeks I was here. Like, we spend, evidently, I'm here. We spend a lot of time with each other now. Mm-hmm. We were getting on real well by the time I left for the first two weeks. <laughs> we <laughs> couldn't you suss him out. I think that's, that, yeah. that's how like, good, most good relationships start, right? Yeah, like, you hate the other one or the other one hates yeah. you or whatever. Yeah. Then you just, like, m- m- like, mend the bridges. And then There's a guy I scrapped it in high school. And, yeah, a couple of times had a little bit of a scrap and then... Then we met each other like, oh, you're actually a good bloke. <laughs> what were you scrapping over? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <really. laughs> <laughs> 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 when, you just look, when you look at each just, other wrong, type thing. Just walk off. <laughs> but, how did yeah. you get your nickname, Cecil? Oh, fuck. This is a shit story. Um, so, I was, <clears throat> so old man's a pretty fair dinkum yank, like traditional old school, don't yeah. speak to you, spoken to type things, how I yeah, grew up. Yeah. So I did a year of cults and then moved up the grade a year early. Um, and uh, so we had one of our first couple of grade training sessions. Um, I was a young pup, um, like fucking small fish, big pond type thing. And we're about to do line outs. Yeah. And um, so I fucking needed a ball to throw. And there was a ball on the outside of the field with one of the coaches. So I said to this old hooker, Toby Martin, I was like, mate, what's that fella's name? I need a ball. And he goes, oh, it's Cecil. <laughs> so he's me. Like, I've done this pre season sessions, whatever, and just said nothing at no one. I said, fuck all. Like, I could have been a ghost. I might as well not have been there. And I start yelling, Cecil! Oh, fuck. And his name's Cedric. Are <laughs> <laughs> so, the boys like, whoever told you that laughing? Cecil. Yeah, fucking oath. Not that I could, like, understand what was going on over there. No, so, like, it's, it's, gone to, it's gone to the point where I don't even bother to introduce myself as James. Anyone yeah. I meet in Sydney to do with footy, I just go Cecil. Daruda yeah. was saying that you're being, like, real formal with him. Like talking about the jerseys and stuff, he's like, "Why are you talking to me like this, Cecil?" <laughs> oh, mate, it's because he was peppering me every fucking hour mate, for a photo of these things that were I, produced I, in one and a half days. Yeah, I literally, mate. He, I wonder if he's messaged me yet. Have I got a message from Scott Deruda? Oh, about the jerseys? No, I don't. No, just in general. <laughs> he's like, I'm on board. Like, oh. and like, if I'm yeah, online, he came over last week. Then Issy was watching rugby <laughs> of his son, and then he's just. I came in and the root is just talking. About, yeah, I, I, I taught him. He was in my academy. And he's like, Jonah Lawman was like, I taught him how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, though. Oh, funny, man. Oh, what got in my car today? So you borrowed my car today, right? That uh, grey highlight? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he, got, he, he borrowed that. And I'm like, get in my car. My fucking smells like darts in here. <laughs> oh, is he fucking serious? Like, I just got this car, like, in February or whatever. Anyway, I look on the ground and there's a Gatorade bottle with a dart in the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ring him up I'm like bro what the fuck is this he's like I didn't smoke in there now. <laughs> I didn't smoke in there. I go, well first of all it smelled like darts second of all there's a Gatorade oh. bottle with a smoke in it and he goes that was from my car man I didn't smoke in there now. I wouldn't do that to you yeah, it's like catching your kid in like a lie or yeah. something like this where they just <laughs> they got the cookie in their hand they go did you eat the cookie no yeah he, mate, he's um, a gas lighter He's your, he's a hundred percent a gaslighter. He's going to be so angry at me for saying this too. Oh please, what's he no, going to do? Oh, he gets so angry, man. Yeah, why? He can, he can dish it out, but he can't take it. Oh. I've said it, and he can't say anything right now. So suck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no rebuttal. No rebuttal. No rebuttal. <laughs> uh, but we'll jump in the questions from our followers for you guys. Uh, first one's from Will Franklin. Oh, no. Ask them if they've ever wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never wet. I've, Nah, I've never wet the bed. Nah, I'm not in. 
since uh, like adolescence. No. <coughs> yeah. Hey, that yeah, photo of Franco it. pissed, pissed <laughs> the shakes and him washing it. That is oh. that is like something you should fucking frame. Like that is a hundred percent real Franco. He sent the photo. He pissed the bed and it's like the mattress is just there. <laughs> so we took a photo of him washing the mattress the next Inside. morning. Dust no outside, oh. just with one of those hoses. You know those hoses got like twelve attachments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got like, his face too. He's, he's got the, the he's got the clean the piss off my sheets attachment on. <laughs> <laughs> he's spraying it down. Actually, but. so I didn't. I haven't pissed my bed, but someone shat in my bed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so another Adelaide fella, Lackner from Christie's Beach. Which is a humble as spot. So it was actually Lewis's first weekend in Manly. So a pommy fella, another pommy fella that's come over the club. So we played out, I think West. He's Welsh. From the Valleys. From the Valleys. So we had a paramount. I go, mate, do you want to lift home? He goes, yes, yeah, sweet. So we pick up a couple of beers on the way home. I go to mine. And um, we uh, get on the piss and I go to Lewis, mate. He's staying in Moss when I go, mate, just stay in mine. You've got to go to Narrabeen the next day. Don't go up there to come fucking back down there. Pythagoras, don't do that. Bing bong. <laughs> yeah, bing bong, bing. And um, so <laughs> so I'm out ripping into the piss and he bails a little bit early because he's a bit too fucked or whatever. Walks into my place and this Lackner fella, Shannon from Adelaide, God bless him, he's got developed the nickname the rotisserie chicken because he walks in sees him sitting there nude like a ro- like literally like a rotisserie chicken so on all fours like nude like asshole pointing back like head into the deck louis goes to him mate you're right and he just looks up and goes yeah, yeah yeah no i'm fine i'm sweet i get home later sleep in my bed wake up the next day there's a bed sheet in the corner of my room just covered in shit. Oh, fuck. Like black as the ace of spades. <laughs> black. Like not brown, like black as the ace of spades. <laughs> I get up, I see that, and I go, fuck this. <clears throat> Walk out, step in a pile of spew. I go, that's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. Walk into my lounge room to have a minute to myself, look down, and there's like a little dinner plate of spew on that. the floor in the lounge room. I'm just like he's never young, invited again. He's a young buck from Adelaide, good fella, <laughs> and denies it to this day. <laughs> 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 to this day. He's just going to take it to the grave. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cannot have been so there. that clip of Franco warning the sheets down, the rotisserie chicken didn't even fucking water <laughs> my sheets down. Fuck. 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 Anyway, I've I've not pissed the bed, <laughs> but yeah. by far the closest I've come in recent times is being strapped into the bunker. <laughs> Which for anyone who's ever gone through Manly Rugby Club, if they know, where's the camera? So I, yeah, if they know, they know the bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bunker. I actually the got a bit of bunker vibes from this garage. <laughs> yeah. So we have it's far less glamorous than this, and that's fucking saying something. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, you, whoa. you yeah. English dog. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, this is the the garage underneath Cecil's uh, Cecil's apartment complex, which is when the door gets shut on that and the beers will get opened, some fucking gnarly shit goes down. Like that sounds beautiful. <laughs> that sounds like a, a little good locking. Good yeah. locking. There's, yeah. a cu- there's a couple of rules. If you're gonna leave to go do some bloody horizontal business with the Sheila, you got to get midget tossed into the surfboard in the corner. <laughs> so like four blokes pick you up and then go one. Two, buff <laughs> into the corner against the surfboard. So I think it was his first piss up, and it's actually something I'm genuinely proud of. Is he said that the most pissed he's been in his life has been in my bunker. <laughs> so, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vortex, isn't it? Like you're in it, and you feel like, yeah, oh, I'm sweet here, I'm having a good time I'm with the boys, and then the door opens, and you step out into like reality, and you're like, holy <laughs> fuck, fuck I'm rolling. And yeah. keep, keep in mind, this is like two or three blocks from Wharf Bar. So that <laughs> night, I think we've, I think we've fucking divided and conquered, or I've fucking i don't know i'm a bit behind these fellas but he's got, these blokes have gone to wolf bar he's walked straight over a car into wolf <laughs> into, into, into wolfie which is just full yeah. of twelves. past yeah, my house on the amazing. way there yeah so he's at the time he's living between me and wolfie which is a block he's gone past his house into wolfie <laughs> straight into the toilet cubicle he went to wolfie just threw his ring out and then go home. Oh. <laughs> you know when you have the moment when you're, when you're pre-drinking. You know, <laughs> yeah. When you have the moment when you're when you're fully blind and then you kind of go internal and you have that moment of like talking to yourself like Jesus, something's going on here. Head Fortunately, my last fucking functional brain cell went internal and was like, 
go fucking home. <laughs> <laughs> walked into Wolfie, spewed my guts up, walked straight back out and went to bed. Oh, I'm so proud <laughs> of that. I am so <laughs> proud of that. Was that after the bunker? Yeah. Yeah, that was after the bunker. Dread, dead set, and like I said, the, bun- the, bunker. the bunker exists in the parallel universe. Mate, yeah. we were throwing cards at blokes' buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to like, what's that movie with the card magicians or whatever? Oh, We thought we were there. Gambit? Yeah, that fell off the X-Men. We were trying to throw cards into a cart, <laughs> into a bloke's butt crack. How long was he standing there for? A oh. while. Wow. We didn't get one in. <laughs> but it was Fuck. hilarious staring at his butthole and chucking cards at it. And you'd be like, oh, no, you missed again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd try harder. Oh, you missed again. <laughs> Use your hand. <laughs> Are you guys going to Aqua? Aqua. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah well, perfect. We, we fucking live there. So. Mate, Manly is. <laughs> we can't mate, not. I can't wait. I'm fucking. I'm actually so fucking pumped. Yeah. I haven't been out in Manly before. <clears throat> mate, it's. It's like another world. That that actually surprised me. Like, Aqua. Uh, I don't know what it was like on the field, but off the field, it was so much bigger and better than I had imagined. Yeah. Like, it was epic. Because, like, we didn't get the yachts on, on game day last year. And then this year, we're like, we're not doing the yachts again because that player's area was pretty sick as well. So, was that at the pavilion? Yeah, yeah. Which was free piss. Yeah. You know, like a fancy bougie ass spot. Yeah. You could just do whatever and you want. And just. Guess who's messaged me? Scotty Deruda. About what? Just in general. <laughs> saying what? I'm fat. Is that what he said? <laughs> no, no. He, he, sent, he sent a photo of oranges saying half time for the boys. Oh, God. Such a uh, question here from Shannon Lackner. So that's the rotisserie chicken. That's the rotisserie chicken. That's who's shitting my bed. He stitched himself up. Yeah, he stitched you up with a question, haven't he? He can stitch himself up. That's the rotisserie chicken. It's like a PG question. What the fuck did you do to your head? <laughs> what from scrums or no, just the blonde? Think of the blonde. Yeah. I like it. I was supposed to retire, so I thought we'd get a shit haircut and go out in a bang. I like it. And then man. we sucked. And then the haircut actually looked better than I played in footy. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so going again on next year. A uh, question from Fraser Tui. Oh Rory, uh, please share your story of how you got to Oz. Ooh, yeah. is that another? <clears throat> is it worth it? Share your story of how you got to Oz. Oh man, no, it's not worth it. It's it's, it's deep. No one's gonna laugh at it. Oh. So I, that one out. Well, I, I had to. I went to America, engaged, and I came back not oh, engaged. Yeah, okay. perfect. Yeah, yeah. So at least you didn't get married. Get married. I got married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you win. You win. <laughs> yeah. So he's known for. And after a while, I had to limit him. I was like, bro. One deep and meaningful conversation a week. Yes. Like, this is enough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's Mental Health Week, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> I, I said to him, I was just like, mate, how, how's your break, bacon egg roll? Oh, mate. <laughs> I fucking, oh, I fucking fuck tell you yeah. what, mate. <laughs> that was the most fucking amazing, <laughs> oh, and then amazing would, bacon I've ever had, mate. Snowball into the pig versus the chicken. Like, who's more committed and involved? In this bacon and egg roll, like the pig died for it, the chicken just laid an egg for it. This is like, why I fucking ate to them when they met. <laughs> Don't humor this bloke for a minute. It's just a hooker's charisma, you know. Uh, you don't get it. Yeah, fuck phrase. I'll take There's it. a few I'll things. Take it. After this. <laughs> He's on the list. So, we're actually, so our mental health week. So we have a coffee club every Thursday morning. Me, Rory, Fraser. Uh, like let me it's knock it dick. up, man. I'm done. Um, Righty tidy, lefty. So lefty. Jimmy Omson was actually played for TSS, Queensland fella. Oh yeah. So yeah. me, Jimmy, Fraser, and Rory have a coffee club every Thursday morning. Yeah. So six six thirty before work, we all catch up, sit down for an hour, hour and a half, however yeah. long. Um, something we booked in fair income and sit down and just have a yarn about typically whatever the fuck happened on the weekend yeah and just talk about what's going on and until you do that kind of shit do you know like how good it actually is because yeah, a yeah. the shit that comes up but then b like helps you like sort of get some yeah, shit yeah. off the chest so yeah. we've been doing that every week for a while now yeah cost club's been big i think for all four of us yeah been really good three three single fellows one fellow in a relationship and it's just like we all come up with all this shit that we're jimmy just, just sits there and lives just vicariously yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then <laughs> vents first and then listens yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah to the boys so that's actually a good thing so if anyone out there should just fucking pick coffee three fellas and go for a coffee club no yeah. phones no talk about rugby that always fucks up you always talk about rugby yeah and talk about chicks the easiest thing to talk about chicks is what's better boobs or bums tits or ass start with that and then fucking an hour goes and you're done <laughs> <laughs> whatever says and yes. we feel better mentally <laughs> yeah. I like hamstrings personally <laughs> hamstrings. A, hammies. test them out hammies and delts yeah good set of pins are great uh, another one from Fraser. Why does Rory walk around the supermarket looking like he is ready to murder someone? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because of your brow. Yeah, like, this goes back to what you said earlier. I don't know, man. Yeah, it was oozing intensity. 
We just it, <laughs> give us a look. It, it sh- the brain. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, look. It's the under Give us a look. Yeah, the under Give us a look. No, you're like a. You know the. You know they found. You know they found that. Um, they found that new race. Somewhere between Dennis Owen. Yeah, yeah all right. Oh, God, the Roy Bartles. Uh, I know it shafted me when I first got to Manly though, because obviously I knew all the boys Wife, through footy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I met all the boys through footy, but outside of that, like I went, I, we started training at a gym. Cecil trains there too, like wicked facility. Start training there, and, like real community place. Do you know what I mean? Everyone gets around each other. I've been training there, like a month, and like people are avoiding me. Like, fucking. <laughs> and then one day I was chatting to a girl on the desk because they're like obliged to talk to you because they fucking work there yeah. and I said to I kind of mentioned to her and she was like yeah fuck everyone here is scared of you <laughs> like, for fuck's sake it's like, good you're like the slender man like you ghost around like the slender man like you honestly like, <laughs> like a coin toss from killing someone yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like you're just, just gonna stand there you got that real Jeffrey Dahmer vibe oh, I was oh. gonna say Dahmer I can't even watch that show because it's that fucking freaky and it's yeah. based on you <laughs> mate we watched it me and Sione were watching it he's just like why am I hard <laughs> and I was like well bad well bad nah yeah <laughs> fuck off he makes up shit stories, oh, right? <laughs> bro. We'll go with it. Yeah, Some yeah. People are into it. Yeah. I don't know, but generally, yeah. once I get you in the fight with someone, they tend to warm to me a bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're delightful, man. <laughs> they have to for a pom. That's <laughs> 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 okay, my last pom joke. So. Okay, that's shit. <laughs> uh, Fraser, oh, he brought up the Chroma Coffee Club. Uh, how much personal information gets divulged at this so-called Chroma Coffee Club? Heaps. Yeah, heaps. heaps. It, whatever is said cannot leave because yeah. it's yeah. We go into the depths of it, like. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Full noise. We should do that, mate. Six is a bit. Early. We do, man. <laughs> Me and you do. Oh yeah, the podcast. Yeah. No, but we, when I come home, I talk talk to you about things. You don't say much. Spanish to me talking. Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown, GP. Hmm. Why Sorry. was he naked in a pub in the middle of Dublin? <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, it's you. <laughs> That's Greg Peterson. So, like, the biggest man-child you'll ever fucking witness in life. Like, big, just a big yeah, lad. big is the emphasis. I played against the bastard and he's big. <laughs> and he's been that size since he was, like, 16 or whatever. Like, 205, 210 centimetres tall. Holy. Like, covered in... Co- second row. Covered in hair, covered in smell. <laughs> like, just a big old... Big old... Meat axe. Yep. Yeah. He's got, he's got probably two gears. He's like a tractor. Yeah. You know? Probably got two gears, maybe. It's a big dig as a engine. Is he powerful? Is he like tough? Nah, not powerful at all. He, nah. Is he tough? You don't have to be that big. He'd be 120, 125 kilos. So he played in the US team, played for the Marns. He was with the Tars for a while, never got, really got a crack. Um, and I'm just going to heap shit on him because of fuck his question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a, he's a um, Newcastle Falcons. Yeah, he's a Falcons yeah. now. No, so we, we, so we finished the Northern Hemisphere tour when we were in Ireland and we were sitting around a table. The tour had finished and a, a few battlers had decided to stick around and just drink piss. Yeah. And so there's probably seven or eight of us. And we played this game with coasters. <clears throat> so I did that with someone and it was for just get nude and eat your fucking meal. Yeah. <clears throat> and it, it probably wasn't that many coasters and I was just a retard and fucked it. So <laughs> five of them fucked it. And had to sit there naked, full stripped off in a du- in a Dublin pub. And they let you, mate. They didn't give a fuck. Yeah, they would at all. And this is the time. time as well. So like, I had this rule. I got these shit rules. So I did my double shoulder recut, and I was like, okay, I'm not getting a haircut until I play a game. And so I had full fed ink and long like. I'm you, say, your hair curly? Nah, it goes out like a perm. Type of <laughs> and I had a hairband in to keep the shit the out of my Jufro. eyes. To, yeah, properly. <laughs> I can actually show you a photo of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you want yeah um and you don't see my dick as well so i might be playing on um not there's much to see um <laughs> <laughs> all real no rod <laughs> uh, yeah all pubes uh, so then yeah sat there in dublin eating my meal and the thing is as well so there was probably five or six rugby dudes but then there was probably three misses as oh, well oh there. yeah yeah but then i sort of thought to myself i was like you know what don't be a bitch you yeah. gotta do it mate don't be a back bitch. yourself don't be a bitch so i sat there I ate my fucking food, hair tie in, start. That was the only bit of clothing I had on, a hair tie. Perfect. As a front That's row. why I like it. Yeah. It's classic front row things, you know? <clears throat> I just got another question. Uh, the extent of piss drunk during Cecil's retirement tour through Japan. Is that World Cup? I, I, honestly, I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't tell you much. It's good. <laughs> it was epic, bro. In Japan? Yeah, after the World Cup. Fuck. So, that was, so I played Tonga, which was the last game. Yeah. And funnily enough, so Goda, this Asian fellow who's the man, by the way. Wait, wait a second, was Todd Clever in that still playing? Yeah, he was in the squad. Yep. yep. H- Harry? 
Higgins? No. 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 Mr. Pace. He, he was on that one tour where we went to uh, PB and just fucking got <laughs> blind. <laughs> <clears throat> and he was probably the captain of that trip because he got fucking blind. It was unreal. <laughs> um, so it was me, uh, Greg Peterson was in the team, Sean Maloney commentated, Goda was on the sideline holding the, like, the cable for the cameraman, um, and Marley Hingano was the 12 for Tonga. So it was five Marlins on the field yeah. in this Euro, like World Cup rugby game. It was fucking bizarre. So we finished that and then just got straight on the piss and then I pretty much wake up and get on a plane the next day. Because it was fucking that large. I definitely got naked at some point and yeah, whatever. So good, man. That World Cup looked insane. Yeah, it was quite stressful though, man. Like Japan's a real, um, to the point, like uh, precise. Punctual. Yeah, very punctual. So to the- uh, Regimented. Very regimented, yeah. like very disciplined. Like to the point it was stressful though. So like I remember we were in the change room before a captain's run and I, just, I was about to go out just to fucking kick the footy or whatever, throw it or do whatever. And this bird was standing at the door and went, no, 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 30 second, 30 second. And I was like... No, no, that's, only, that's how long I last. I know, love. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need to fucking rub it in. <laughs> and then so I legitimately, like I turned around and laughed and then just walked, like turned around and just to walk out. And she was like, oh, no, 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 25 second, 25 second. And I was like, fuck. The little robots relax. I had to sit down for like 20 seconds yeah. before I could fucking walk out in the field. I start watching the uh, Aussie A games at the moment. Yeah, they, like you look in the crowd, they're just no one's drinking pizza or anything. Everyone's just sitting there. Oh, in Japan, yeah, yeah, they love it though, bro. Like, yeah, our bus, like when we used to go to training sessions or whatever, there'd be like a tunnel of people like clapping us through the bus and whatever. Like it was, yeah, just get cool. around everyone. Yeah, uh, this one's from Bartle Sue. Does Rory regret not wearing? A headgear to protect his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Obviously, that's my mother. <laughs> Is it? Sue. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her. Oh, that's tragic, isn't it? That's good. Um, do I regret it? Nah, actually. The cauliflower ear has been the best fucking yes, icebreaker. Best yeah. Such a good icebreaker. Just look. Oh, the left one's the left not Stuart too bad, the but the right one's bad. Yeah. If he runs yeah. fast yeah. enough, he actually takes if they off. Bo- <laughs> if they both look like the left one, I'd be sound with it, but this one's at 90 degrees in my head. <laughs> so, yeah, me. Wait, second row is you know, probably you know the worst. Like with hair. Yeah, but he's a back rower. No, but you know... <laughs> <laughs> wait, but that's, that's the, it's the curse of being a back row, second row, is that you go out to scrummage your test success, you're optimistic that you're going to be in the back row that week, and then lo and behold, you get shoved in the second row and you don't yeah. want to scrum. You know who looks like with, with hair? Graham Roundtree. No, it's fuck not that up. bad, surely. Oh, wow. I'm just, just fucking oh, with you. Wow. I'm not, not, with not you. far off. <laughs> fuck. You put those in. <laughs> yeah. Fuck's sake. And God bless Sue for following Pig and getting about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, and I'm sorry. How old, Sue? Um, yeah, I do, Mum. Thanks for stitching me up. <laughs> How old, Sue? Uh, 50. What's, <clears throat> what's the best meal she cooks for you? Oh, um, cottage pie. Mm. That's hearty. Yeah, British. She's a farm girl. So she makes a mean cottage pie. Yeah. Uh, another one for you, Rory. This is from Coops. Um, confirm or deny, Rory? Did you chop Sarah or consider it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was. So I think there's a couple questions to be asked here. <laughs> we, we, nah, never, co- never chop Sarah, mate. Avoid girls at all costs. Oh, yeah. Avoid the noise, man. Avoid the noise. Oh, girls suck. Please. Girls suck. Northern Beaches girls especially. Oh. Northern Beaches girls suck. We'll cut what? that up. <laughs> said, yeah. said no one ever. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. Um, Thomas O... Uh, o... Oh, okay, whatever. Um... <laughs> You racist dog! What? You can't pronounce a Balangi name. Well, maybe it's you not a Balangi. Sick. It's Tom Aoki. A- Aoki. Oh, <laughs> Aoki. Oh. Can you ask us all about his twerk battle in Nola, Bourbon Street? Mm. Yeah. So we, so I rocked up for SD, just being sort of like a backup. Yeah. yeah. And so Pete Malcolm was a starting hooker. We cruise. <laughs> You're the best reserve ever. <laughs> Seriously, that's the story of my career. Um, cruise over there. We go to Nola, travel over. So from San Diego to Nola, you got to go through Dallas, which is a bit of a fuck up because it's like east to west, connecting flight, bit yeah. of a fuck up. Get over to Nola. Uh, we get over on Friday, wake up at 11 a.m. and I got a missed call from the Fords coach. And sort of haven't been around the traps before. I go, game day. There's fucking no other reason why this bloke's calling me. Like, I'm fucking going to start. Yeah. So I just texted him. I said, mate, I'll, I'll see you in the meeting room. Like, we're about to have breakfast or whatever. And I was like, oh, fuck, I don't need to talk to you over the phone about this. Like, I know what it is. Yeah. Cruise down to the meeting room. And he goes, 
Hey, um, so Pete Malcolm tested positive for COVID, so you're starting. And I just went, oh, cool. Sweet. Like, I've learned yeah. maybe half the line outs in the week that I've been here. So, sure, let's go. Yeah. Um, and so we play Nola and Nola, like, night times, 30 something degrees, 100% humidity. Go out after that. Instead of going to Bourbon Street, which is epic street, you throw chicks like necklaces, yeah, they get yeah. their boobs out. It's unreal. Um, <laughs> It actually does happen as well. That's not just on the movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, fucking hell. Like, it's legit. Why is Australia so boring? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's no, legit. Respectfully. Like, respectfully. Well, it's pretty respectful when you see their tits, too. Like, yeah. it's well, nice. I, I, I know, American I mean. girls just love <clears throat> getting their tits yeah. out. Mm. We just um, so we it. so we went to like the local street, which is the, which is called Frenchman's. So we went to this spot which had like a nightclub um, upstairs, and then downstairs was like the uh, New Orleans vibe of things. So we're upstairs for a little bit, banging away in the nightclub, and then downstairs they bust out like the sax, the trombone, the like dudes rapping yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then this real soulful dark chick gets up and starts like belting these tunes. And so halfway through the set, she's like, righto, we're going to have a twerking contest. And I think at, literally on that day, I'd turned 33. And so everyone goes, fuck it, Cecil, you get up there. <coughs> okay. Not, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 you sure? Okay. So, legit. so I get up there and there's three other birds. So it's a twerking contest versus me and three other yank birds. And so I'm like, righto, I got no fucking hope of winning this contest unless I get naked. Yeah. So I get up there and so this, so this chick, so I probably try to bust like one move and I'm like, oh, that was awkward. Yeah. So I just start taking my shirt off and I go, hey, Dale, do you mind if I take the rest of my clothes off? And she goes, oh no, honey, you can't do that. And I was like, well, I'm not putting my shirt back on. And she's like, well, okay, sweetie. Fuck. And so here's me up there trying to so win, this twerking, win this twerking contest. And then they did this bullshit i lost bullshit <laughs> crowd judging system i lost so i just grabbed this chick on the way down and just went ah, 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 oh, and then smoke bombed i was like oh i just won I was <laughs> imagine if if like mlr was at the level of nfl and the, and the media going crazy over something like that <clears throat> bro you know what the weird thing is as well and it buzzed me out a little bit is that like the head physio assistant physio and like snc was there and I was like, if this was the TARS or the Force or whatever, yeah. they're oh. not they're not there, A, and B, if they are, you're on your best behaviour, like you're sitting there yeah. playing Sudoku in the corner. Yeah. So that buzzed me out a little bit as well. And I said that to him and it not, didn't stop me, obviously. I said, like, fucking <laughs> yeah. neither, you're fucking here. Yeah. <laughs> and then still got up there. And then got, I fucking oh. hooked up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just the American rugger thing. Oh, he's a rugger. They're crazy like that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It's like that, man. Uh, Vesti. Uh, we've already asked that question. Uh, he's also asked, who is the nichest bloke you've met? Nichest or nicest? Nichest. Niche. niche. Like, who's the most niche? Like, oh, yeah. just, uh, like a person who's just fucking in their own. nobody like him. Yeah. yeah. Jack Cuthbert. Alan Dell, never touched a drop of boobs in his life, got married to his first root. <laughs> Scottish front, uh, Scottish, South African born Scottish front row. Really? Good Pink, on him. Pinkus would be up there for me. Yeah, niche, I mean, for yeah. all his the flaws and boys will give him a hard time. He is a niche. Yeah, yeah. he's a good bloke. Yeah, too, oh, he's yeah, lovely he lot, lad. Yeah, he's worth having. I just, yeah. keep, I just keep thinking of pink eye. Pink eye. Yeah. <laughs> he never sends it. Like he just doesn't, does Mate, he? He just he's just so disciplined. He just so yeah. disciplined. Ah, uh, Scotty Deruda. Oh. Always been curious who gave James his real nickname, Slunyup, and why. <laughs> So, so pretty much every city that I've lived, I've copped some shit nickname. So in Adelaide, it's Swampy. In Sydney, it's <laughs> Cecil. In Perth, it's Slunyip. In Edinburgh, it's Hilda Booz. <laughs> so Slunyip was Richard Brown. So Richard oh, Brown, isn't he a fucking weapon? <clears throat> good bloke, mate. Really, really good mate of mine. So he goes one day, homeschooled fella. So real fucking rare. He's actually quite niche. Oh, he went to my school. He went to Nudgy. He went to high school at Nudgy. So he was homeschooled by his mum and dad out bush before yeah. he went there. yeah. And he goes, you know what, mate? I reckon, you know, you you look like uh, a bunyip, you know, one of them Aboriginal uh, mythical creatures, yeah, you, and uh, cross with a sloth, a, a, you know, a slunyip. You look, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, you look like a slunyip. And then that stuck hard yeah. just because he's yeah, Richard he just, Brown, a wallaby back like, roller, who yeah. <coughs> would knock the fuck out of you if you said oh, anything mate, wrong. Toughest, toughest kind of the world, man. Yeah. And, I, mate, I, I got along with him really well. He actually helped me a lot when I first came to the force. Mm. When you're a young pup into a new team, especially a professional team, you, you pretty much shit you your pants. It. Shit your pants, cop it, and you just don't say anything back. 
and he helped me to the point where I was like, hey, mate, like, you, you got to understand, you, you can be yourself to a degree, just don't be a wanker. Like, you've got to be able to stand your ground type thing. Yeah. And for him to say that, like, I, I think I earn it because I train pretty hard. Um, it helped me sort of find my place over there too. Was it good fun? I was talking about Drew today. He's like, mate, it was fucking good fun over there. At the Fours? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, mate. You're, it's, it's a bit like being in the States. Like, the, the people over in Perth don't really know you that much. Like, they yeah, don't yeah. know footy too much. So you sort of feel like you can just do whatever like you yep. should be able to do and nobody really has eyes on you mm. um so mate going out in subiaco and this that and the other mate it was it was good fun as well mm. and i like i was good mates with nick as well come on we used to go out and just do some was he a good lad yeah yeah we were with him uh last night yeah that's right oh yeah and, and this morning no yeah, yeah last, last night, night and this yeah, morning. yeah yeah so his place, he's got, he's got his own power source, his own water source. Like, yeah, trying sure. to protect himself from the next COVID, which is... Oh, is he a bit of an anti-vaxxer? Oh, I don't, oh God, God knows. He just wants yeah. to be able to do his own shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck um, but, so like, mate, when, when you meet in the Honey Badger for the first time, you kind of go in with a bit of an expectation. That, yeah. yeah. And he fully delivers on it. <laughs> like, he's funny <laughs> as fuck. <Yeah. laughs> and he just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, yeah. I love him. He's mate, awesome. driving, driving up his driveway is honestly like, you feel like you're in Jurassic Park. Where, where is he? <clears throat> he's in just country. In, inside Corumban. Oh, oh, oh so okay, good. yeah. And mate, go, going up is there. Is he doing well for himself still? Yeah, mate, he's happy as fuck. By the looks, yeah. looks of his gaff, man, he's doing well for himself. Yeah. It's a good spot, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good in a different way, though. It's not like some 10 story mansion, like off, yeah, double, yeah. off 007 or whatever the fuck it is. No. Mate, it's just a nice place on 50 acres that yeah. he's got, literally, he's got his own power, got his own water, um, and can just do whatever the fuck he wants. Oh. He doesn't have to rely on anyone, man. Got what a fucking tin, legend. New tin lid, Billy. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks old. Um, and Al is. Do you still have a beer? Does he still have a beer? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. still has a beer. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But like, I, going yeah, to left me, I was like, man, if I had all the money in the world, I wouldn't have a set much different to this. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, was it, it's just was a means awesome. to himself, and he can just live his life in peace. Oh, fuck. I'm real. Good on him. And it, what, a, yeah. what a legend of the yeah. And fucking deserves it as well, yeah. obviously. Yeah, mate, the poor fella got put through the ring during that bachelor setup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. 100%. Did he, does, was it, did he care? Or was he just like, oh, no, of course not. Oh, he would have. He would have been hard. Like, the amount of shitty cops. Yeah. Like, we were living together, and the blokes, people were blokes. It wasn't blokes. It was like people that were like fake trying to sell cookies and shit were knocking on the door trying to come in just to find shit out about oh. him. Fuck. Like just a humble two bedroom unit, whatever in Manly, and yeah. like people were trying to like break in and shit. And like I didn't give a fuck because it wasn't about me type yeah. thing. But then I thought about it and I was like, <laughs> like would have been funny. On, people gonna knock on the garage door and come in and go, "Hey, Freeny, what, <laughs> what are you up to, mate?" That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's waiting. The final girl's waiting for him, and you just jump out of the limo. I'll, I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll come. In with you. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a match made in, yeah. in hell. <laughs> and Richie Brand's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I used to knock heads a little bit too. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. And so Nick told me, so we had John Mitchell coming to camp and I heard Nick had told me, he was like, mate, you better watch out for Johnny Mitch. Because apparently one training session at the force, Nick was still a young buck and Johnny Mitch during some, you know, like four, you know those, that fucking shit, four lines versus four lines passing drill. Yeah. Pass yeah. through the hands or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Every bastard does it, whatever. Yeah. So it started training, Nick's just gone through the hands or whatever and just fucking shanked one. And this is the start of training session, full cold. John Mitchell has started spraying Nick for long enough that everyone's taken it upon themselves to start like dropping the knee and stretching and shit. Fuck. Like a good two or three minutes. One of those, spray, yeah. Two or three minutes spray. You fuck, as if you're not doing this properly. You're fucking you, this, that, and the other. <clears throat> and it goes to Peck Cow and goes, Peck, should I just go? <laughs> fuck. And Peck goes, no, no, you're sweet, mate. Just yeah. go, move on. You just got to take it from the coach as you left. <laughs> But that's how much Johnny Mitchell changed, though. Like he used to be like that. Then he came to the US setup and was properly looking after boys. Yeah. And we got, uh, we were just nudging. I think we were eleventh and almost nudged Fiji out of the ten. Wow. Um, we beat Scott. Uh, Scotland. We beat Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, just r racking up a, a few wins. See, <coughs> uh, Beckett ninety five. Has Rory ever used his incredibly large ears to take <laughs> flight to like 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 Dumbo? Hello, Dumbo. Dumbo. If you run fast enough, I reckon you're in trouble, bro. Yeah, that's you need the thing. that bloke with the brisk, fucking orange. If I had a fifth ones. gear, let alone a sixth gear, if I had a fifth gear, yeah, may well do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mate, you should see this. Mate, we had mind you, he's dishing out right. Beckett is hanging. <laughs> hanging. Like, he is, honestly, he's, I love him to bets. Like, he's one of my best mates in the world, but aesthetically, nothing going for yeah. him whatsoever. And he fully knows it. And everybody who plays with rugby knows it too. Mate, we had this one line out peel play, which fuck knows why we picked Rory to run this. <laughs> the guy would come up. What position up. is he? Who? 
Uh, no, no. <laughs> All right. So this is Beckett. When we, growing up through rugby in England, he's a four. The man oh, playing, playing in the back row. Yeah, he was at Leicester Tigers, and then Leicester Tigers one day turned to him and be like, "Mate, you're, we're moving you to tight head <laughs> against his will." <laughs> back row to tight head. Yeah, back row to tight head. This is when Graham Roundtree's at Leicester as well. So yeah. it's like gnarly, Fuck. really gnarly. Yeah, he's had to crack a tight head, and now he's just signed himself off as a second row. Oh, but but he's a big boy. But in fairness, oh yeah, he's a big boy. He's just. <laughs> Pissing down rain at somewhere like Cornish Pirates away, worth his weight in gold because yeah. he's he gets gritty. Yeah. yeah, good bloke, but hanging. So I won't take any views of yeah. him. What was your special move you're talking about? Mate, so we had this line out people play at the Marlins, which yeah. fuck knows why we put Rory in this position for this because it involved passing. <laughs> um, but if I happen to fucking throw the ball straight, the second round would catch it, come down with it. And he'd come down with that. And Rory's job was to receive the ball, maybe like turn and just fucking pass the ball to the yeah. guy coming around the corner. So it's pretty simple, straightforward, yeah. right? But every single time he did this, and I thought it was like the first time he'd done it, but it turns out he'd done it about 15 or 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> instead of just like taking the ball, so like you've just lifted, you've just caught the ball, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've caught the ball there. So instead of just grabbing the ball there, that gigantic fucking gorilla brow, <laughs> he would put straight into your chest. Oh. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Receive and like Robocop. Like step one is to the head, but the step, step two was to pivot backwards. Step three was to pass. Yeah. Man, oh, just lead oh, with oh, your God. head. <laughs> That's probably those old coaches, probably when you're growing up. You got to get in and fucking rip it. Mate, I told you, it. mate. I was a rower that they tried to teach to play rugby. <laughs> yeah. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. He just wants to get his ears involved in, in every play. If in doubt, just lead with your head. <laughs> Mate, the funniest thing was, like, after about five or so of them at training, he was like, oh, I can't do it anymore. So it hurts my head. <laughs> We didn't touch on this earlier. My when you say, Oh, how was your landing at Manly? Day one at Manly, or first game, I set a club record. <laughs> <laughs> so this Slender Man the week before Slender Man the week before in the Rats Grandstand rocks up to play footy the next week. I just thought he was a murderer. <laughs> Plays third grade out of the championship, gets red carded in the quickest, I think, ever. It's quickest in Manly history, it's been confirmed. So Blakey's Bla Phil Blakey's told me like mate obviously you haven't been playing all that much over in the states you know we'll just ease you in you'll start third grade on the weekend I was like yeah sweet happy days but I hadn't played in a while and I was going for it and I probably overcooked it a little bit and within four minutes I've hit a ruck and head butted a third grade scrum half <laughs> and split yourself from north and split yourself and it's been like post whistles like as I'm ramping up to it the ref blowing the whistle so the game stopped and I thought ah oh, I'm committed enough <laughs> boom oh, <laughs> split man. my own head open in the process I'm down on one knee blood pissing down my face getting strapped Red's refs come over and gone no chance red cards <laughs> that was and his like, first like mate, one of his first involvements the, in Sydney the club of rugby and like I because the club have gone so far out the way to facilitate me coming over here <laughs> put me up all that and they don't want to thank you they just want you to perform on yeah the pitch. yeah and I've been red carded <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. but fair play you can't leave like, with your brow mate yeah <laughs> mate, the more I look he's got it. no other choice <laughs> you can't leave with anything else did he have the Zika virus <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> means you're cockle or something I don't know yeah. but fair play that little the, the North's third grade scrum half I forget his name but legend he just copped it he was actually chuffed because well, he came yet. off no <laughs> mate he came off better than me Underneath. I split my own head um, oh, he was legend and cause I think because he he took it well they waved a ban or whatever yeah perfect yeah <sighs> still claim my club record <laughs> <laughs> so good how's that first time over the club yeah really want red, a good uh, impression eh? third grade <laughs> red card I'm just gonna uh, headbutt oh. the other half back <laughs> uh, this one's from Sean S. Kennedy Jimmy repeats that's Sheba <laughs> so is, is me, that? and, me and him looked after Jack Cuthbert in October oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes. That's his question. Uh, if you could be, if you were able to repeat one trip, <laughs> which would it be? Amsterdam, Oktoberfest, or Hello uh, Plays Dinner? Oh man, you've heard about the Oktoberfest story. Yeah. So he's epic. Like, <clears throat> so I remember at one point, so our defence coach, who every professional footy player is going to know this, going to know this guy, Omar Munami. Yeah. So he's this fiery as little leb dude. <laughs> there's a, there's a few stories about this. Yeah. So <clears throat> one thing he told us this story at Edinburgh about the reason why he's so fiery and this and that and the other is because he got fucked up by a tennis racket um played tennis against someone um and lost and it, it just fucked him off so south african fell so anyways <laughs> the, next, the next meeting we all rocked up with tennis rackets <laughs> 
Anyway, so there's a video of Sheba at uh, a defensive training session. So Omar's a defensive coach going, yeah. okay, this is how you defend. So Sheba, come run at me two on one. Like I'll make sure I pick the right person, whatever. Sheba, like shimmy whack and rinsed him. Like to the point where it was like, oh fuck, sent him the wrong way. That's how good Sheba is. So Oktoberfest, me and Sheba looked after Jack Cuthbert. Not very well. Yeah. Because he jumped on the flight the next day and fucked off. Amsterdam. <laughs> to this is for sevens? No, this was oh, just this a piss up in yeah, Octopus. Yeah. And so, Am- so Amsterdam, so that's when things got weird. Me and Jack Cuthbert had a shower together. <laughs> Jack got lost in Amsterdam and couldn't put his shit together well enough that said, Sheebs, come help me out. And Sheebs being fucking the best bloke he is from Aloha, just right, right, oh, fuck it. Put his North Face on. <laughs> he said, right, oh, fuck it. Put his North Face on, put his hands in his pockets, head down and just started walking into Amsterdam. <laughs> Came around a corner and Jack was there. Found him. Fuck. fuck knows how. Fuck knows why. And th- that didn't, happen to be, it didn't happen to be in red light district. He was walked towards the red light district. Yeah. Walked yeah. towards the <laughs> and just, oh, and just walked around the street. Which is our I was waiting. <laughs> Which is actually a lot more play on than you think. Yeah. The Red Light District. Mate, we, we went to we went to um when well, we went to Amsterdam, I've been there twice. But one day one trip we went to Amsterdam, we had this one Kiwi guy. Pete. I won't oh, say his last name. Right? Kiwi guy in Amsterdam, yeah, so his name is Pete, right? He was there for four days in Amsterdam, so that's a long time. <clears throat> Didn't see him. I saw him during the day. As soon as night hit, he just fucking <laughs> Put his North Face on. North Face on. North Face on. No, gonna go find North that face on went to go. Just what? didn't see him. And then one night we ran into him. He's like, "That's fucking weird, man." I just end up in the blue light. Oh, What's the blue light? Oh, the blue, the, blue, the, the blue light. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, yeah, blue yeah. light is when you straight off the red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah. He, Surely you do. No, no. He just and he had the, like he had his scarf on his face and he's like, "Yeah, that's fucking weird." Just end up in the blue light and he's like. And just walked off again. Didn't see him again until we had to leave. I'm like, what the fuck happened to you, Pete? You fucking psychopath, <laughs> mate. Oh, he, just tu- he just turned. As soon as he had a couple of beers and night hit, fucking see you later. Pete's gone. Mate, we, were, we were in Amsterdam all of like a couple of hours, and we were playing a couple of drinking games. There's a good twelve or fourteen of us from Edinburgh, a couple of Kiwi fellas, and. <laughs> we're playing drinking game. and some dude laughed so hard he just sat back on his chair busted through the window the cops rocked up started checking all their passports and shit like this and this Kiwi fella had booked the place and whatever and yep. it was a bit of a stress head like god bless him because he booked the whole fucking trip for all of us <laughs> but the cops were there going whose pace is this and it was his the poor prick and had to put up with the shit that we caused from the cops for breaking the fucking window <laughs> oh man and Mate, so the place is nuts unreal I so, got real self conscious about how tall everyone was Mate, so we went to a sex show and the, it was, I was real self conscious. <laughs> oh, really? The slugs there were at half mast, <laughs> looked like a fucking cucumber. <laughs> like, and they had Not a, a Lebanese one, a proper cucumber. Yeah, with a big fucking cock ring at the back of it as well. Oh, just to, Jesus. Just to keep the blo- keep blood it, in yeah. it. I'll keep the blood and, in it. And it was gross. Anyway, so the sex show happened or whatever, and then his chicks got up on stage and they started getting a bit kinky. Like started hitting people, whipping people, whatever, like all play on. And they go, okay, who wants to come on the stage? And then, okay, then. <laughs> no, not at all. And then the boys were like, oh, it's his uh, bucks do, his bachelors do, whatever, get him up. And me. So they got me up there, got me fully stuck because I was that pissed I didn't care about it. Whatever, whipped me a few times. And I was like, oh, ha, ha, this is funny, this is cool, whatever. And they said, okay, cool, it's done. And then one of the Kiwi fellas who was over in New Zealand grabbed the belt or whatever and was like, no, I'll have a go at him. And I was like, it was a young, young fella, like, I, I was reasonably young at the time, but he was sort of 20, 21. And <clears throat> I just said to one of the old fellas who was a real, real good fella, knew me really well, I was like, don't let him with me. <laughs> <clears throat> and so the blokes wound up, like the things like fucking got some gravity on it because it come around the moon, like <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn, <laughs> and then into, into my Uranus, oh, and then oh, fucking fuck. smoked me. And I never rev up. Like, even during footy games. Like, I might talk shit and yeah, start yeah. shit or whatever, but if I rev up, like, you've, You're actually, you, yeah, you've, done you've fucked with my mum or dad or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. started some shit or whatever, and this dude hit me in the fucking ass so hard. <laughs> I had the sensibility, apparently, to stand up, put my pants on, start doing my belt up, and to Roddy Grant, who's the coach of Ulster right now, I go, I'm going to fucking end this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this y- young kid. Yeah. And he, <laughs> we had the most honest, civil conversation about... 
yeah, no, no, mate, I'm going to fucking kill him. And he goes, no, nah, mate, like, we're in Amsterdam, a bit far yeah. away from Edinburgh, where he lives, this, that, and the other. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I'm going to kill him. Like, I honestly don't care. <laughs> I, I know Roddy as well. I, I do, see, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of great. I can see Roddy. He's the perfect man to be like, oh, it's fair enough if you want to kill him. But I'm trying yeah. to <laughs> Nice, that's my son was spoke. And I think, honestly, the trade-off was like, I was like, Roddy, if I'm not going to kill him, he's got to do at least four or five drinks on the head. If yep. he doesn't, I'll yeah, kill him. <laughs> so we, so USA tour, we went to Romania, and the cops have a rule there, which is you're only in trouble if you win the scrap. <laughs> so we played Romania. I can't remember if we won or lost. Even who cares? <laughs> and there's a couple of guys that had first caps, yeah. and because I was like Wolverine fella, I was like, the one that <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm the one to just shout piss to the guys that had their first caps. And so one of them was Langi Langi Hapukia. Yeah. And so oh dear. we're inside glass windows on the D floor buying a bottle of vodka for fucking five bucks Aussie, whatever the <laughs> fuck it is, nothing at all. And I look outside and I see uh, like this dude approach Langi. So we're in Romania. I see outside Langi. And so there's a rule in USA rugby. You got to wear your cap for 24 hours afterwards. Yeah. Like your first cap. First cap. And I say as well, you got to wear a condom for 24 hours afterwards as well. <laughs> so Langi's there with his cap on with a condom on. <laughs> <laughs> and this dude's starting on him and Lange just goes Unz, drops the fella and then the cops rock up with their shit hats or whatever and they go <laughs> your fault <Yeah, laughs> Lange's yeah. just dropped him so Lange goes to like the lock ups <laughs> fair, dinkum ah. in, fair dinkum in Romania we've got a flight the next day at like 7am or whatever yeah. leaving the hotel at I don't know 4 or 5 and so like on tour like he's obviously not gone back to the hotel so someone packs all his shit Chucks it in the bus. <sighs> Samu Manar goes and bails him out because he's rich because he was yeah, too yeah. on at the time. Yeah. Straight from the lockup onto the bus. <laughs> Mate, what a night. Yeah. What a debut. That's like Eastern Europe, unreal place for a piss up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but you constantly have that lurking over you. Yeah. It's like, do not, don't cross the line in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Worse than Asia? Fuck you up. Oh, it's, it, mate, it's, it's a scary it's fucking place. Yeah, yeah, There's some scary you. dudes cutting around Eastern yes. Europe. With Jersey, we went to Moscow. Oh, fuck. Prior to the Rugby World Cup in Japan, Russia were meant to have a last like minute warm up game against. Uh, it was going to be against Cardiff, and then Cardiff Blues had a heap of injuries. Whatever the fuck it was, they pulled out. Um, Russia's coach, his son played for Jersey, so he bailed us. He's like, look, the do Russian you want to rugby coach. Yeah, the Russian rugby. Uh, Lynn Jones and his son's fellow called Luke Jones, and Luke Jones was playing oh, for yeah, us. Yeah. So he bailed him. He's like, look, can you guys fill in for Cardiff? We need a game before the World Cup. Is that yeah. Luke Jones who plays here? No, no, he played. He played Harlequins for a bit. Who plays, who plays from here? Played, anyway, well, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but um, so he bailed us, and obviously Russia's plan was like. They, they were gonna they were gonna play like a tier one nation mm. then they were gonna play like yeah. george or something and then their last like they were gonna play some can for the champ side and smoke us ready yeah. to ramp up into the world cup so they flew us out to moscow put on this gig for us and somehow we fucking ended up beating them which yeah. did <laughs> So, so they, they fly you out on game day too? Like yeah. Saturday 6 p.m. game? Did you no, no, no. They, the hospitality was great, like, but Moscow is scary yeah. fucking place. Because yeah. it's all very lovely and civil, but like oldie worldy. And then like you'll be walking down the road and then all of a sudden the traffic will part and like five blacked out tinted Mercedes fucking G-Wagons just like, fum, 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 and you're like, ah, oh, those are the fucking people who are running the show out here, man. Yeah, it's scary. Fuck it all. Um, but yeah, Russia, not the training day shit. They, yeah. Russia rolled out, like, effectively a bomb squad <coughs> to start the game against us. And then with, like... Like the goons. Yeah, and then we've hit 50 minutes and we're actually winning the game, which definitely was not the plan. And then I've never seen anything like it, right? We've walked into a line-out and the referee's blown the whistle. Substitutions. The entire Russian line-out has gone off. <laughs> Like an NHL hockey Yeah, line-out. the entire line-out has walked off and a new line-out has come on and they are twice the fucking size. <laughs> <laughs> Putin the, was like, the boys pull the trigger. Just <laughs> so they, and we're, at this point, we're up by 20, 25 points and the next 30 minutes is just clinging on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> These boys are just hammer and tong, mate. Over. I'll tell you what, it's Fiji National Week, but language week or whatever but the dirtiest roughest game I've played against is against Fe- the drawer oh mate oh. Fijians are the worst mate <clears throat> like just- the, the so this was NRC so we cruised over to I think it was Suva yeah and they pulled um, these dudes just like off the farms or whatever <laughs> yeah mate like 
They're, they're the dirtiest. They're the, they're the dirtiest players. Hundred percent, mate. Like we were getting fish hooked up the ass. Yeah. Oh, this, that, and the other. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't, I don't. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> and then after, but then the the toughest thing is after the game as well, because like as soon as the whistle goes, you go fuck. If this guy talks to me, I'm gonna fuck him up. Yeah. And then they go like grab shoulders and they go, oh, it's time to have a prayer. Uh, sorry for the game. Um, uh, I, uh, none of us mean it. Let's sorry for uh, yeah. fish hooking your ass, man. <laughs> Let's leave it on the field. And and I, we all sort of believed it. And we were like, oh, okay, cool. That's like get on the piss. Then no, no, fuck he misses. That last bit. <laughs> but like eye gouging assholes, like ball bags, like everything, bro. Like it, it was the dirtiest I've ever played. Is that when they won the comp? And I see. Yeah. Uh, last two questions from Nathan Satala. <laughs> what is? Where'd you play with him? <laughs> Brian, Brian Tigers. Oh, perfect. Yeah, he's the man. He's he's a good one, one of the OG Brian Tigers, bro. He's, he's like a bit like Tony Finger, the golfer. Oh, he's beating he, oh, yeah, yeah. Why is your microphone all the way up here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit like Tony Finger, the golfer, except yeah. shit at golf and whiter. <laughs> 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 he's moving to Brisbane. Yeah, he's coming up here. Yeah. That's where his family is now. Yeah. yeah. He was like the, <clears throat> like the prodigy of South Australian rugby. Was he? So there was him, Monty... Uh, probably Steve Miller that were like the three blokes that like sort of got picked in when you're from SA Adelaide like there's a bit of a fringe yeah. chance you've got to fucking try and make it at, at all like to some yeah, degree yeah. and it was those three fellas that um, uh, got offered the opportunity got a crack this that and the other um, but you know for one reason or another didn't work out but like there was really fuck all to look up to except for those fellas yeah back in that those days was it that the, like you do state carnival and then nationals <coughs> yeah no no but then there was um so the but South his Australia- dad his dad used to play for fiji oh that's right yeah yeah right okay mm. famous fijian mate he yeah fucking re- really good fella and like one of the ogs of the brighton rugby club for me and without him and monty and a couple other fellas like i, I I made my mind up real early that I wanted to have a crack at it, but yeah. those fellas actually were fucking real good. So we played Div 2 schoolboys in Geelong or whatever and just got fucked up by everyone, by Melbourne and Lloyd McDermott's and shit. Like this. Like that bad. Absolutely railed, bro. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And these blokes were getting picked in like the shadow squad or whatever like this. Yeah. Um, and then sort of in my mind was like, well, fuck, if these guys are doing that, then maybe I've got a crack yeah. too. Um, so real good fella and still play I think he's I think he's just retired played his played the grand final you I was there for the grand final in Adelaide you just messaged me the other day saying oh um, what's Jeeps like I'm like come to Jeeps mate and, biggest um, rugby club in Australia Jeeps yeah anyways uh, you've talked about how good a bloke he is these questions are a bit sus <laughs> do you know what his nickname is sus so, okay <laughs> right. <laughs> works out why does Sorry. Cecil bail beers with the boys and Haggle a three, ba- oh, and ha- to haggle a three back to his place. <laughs> well, we're front rollers. Like, <laughs> yeah, three's top. That's top what you tier. go for. <laughs> three is top tier. <laughs> Have three threes is nine. Yeah, close enough to ten. Yeah. <laughs> when we first got to Aqua Rugby earlier this year, we rocked up. This is our first time in Manly, like proper. And then we rocked up to the Warfare, and we we're like. Oh, we're so out of our death. <laughs> we'll just go stand in the corner. And this bloke goes there to spew and then leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that, Wolfie's a ridiculous spot, bro. Chicks get dressed up like they're, yeah, trying to find a yeah. sugar daddy type thing. And there's no sugar daddy. He's <laughs> 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 an absolute bottom feeder from the shoes. <laughs> how good is that? How good is that? Uh, and some fat dudes from Brisbane <laughs> at Aka Rugby. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. And his last question: What's up with Cecil's dick to ball ratio? Yeah. Cunt would wipe his nuts every time he pisses. Yeah, yeah. big butthole, <laughs> small, <laughs> big butthole, small balls. Um, mate, I tell you what, <clears throat> me and him. So he's real bold, really bold, like super bold. No hair, not one bit of hair on his head. Oh, I meant like bold, like bold. courageous, like yeah. brave. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bald, you mean? Oh, no, bald, yeah. Bald, bald. What's the difference? <laughs> We've gone well beyond the point. <laughs> what's, what's the difference? One letter. <laughs> oh, I'm mate. not a rocket scientist, mate, but it's bald, B A L D, and bald is B O L D. So I, I went down for the grand final this year. Watched him play his last game. Played 13. Yeah. He was strapped up like a mummy. Like had ankles, knees, like fingernails, everything strapped up. 
I actually don't think he touched the ball or did anything. Um, but we won the Brighton Tigers won the game. He won the grand final and retired. Yeah. And then we had this big piece up in the change room afterwards, which was, <coughs> mate, like a footy in Sydney, footy in Brisbane, like there's there's it's good fun. Yeah. It's good culture. But I tell you what, when you're in Adelaide or Perth, even probably Darwin, I imagine the same. Like you, you can't really play footy for the opportunity to play professionally. Yeah, yeah. Because it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Like there's just no people do that. So the the effort they put into on the field versus the effort they put in after the field for the culture. Yeah. Like it's pretty much even, or if more, if if so, it's more after the game. Yeah. Which I've is, seen this one of the the final few years ago. The stream of it, the uh, the final down there. Yeah. What well, is cl- clutch or something like this? What's it? Yeah, yeah. On? Wherever, mate. It's epic to see. That yeah, I was like, fuck, I didn't realize there's actually there's a decent crowd. Everyone got into it. Mate, especially Brighton. So the club that I, I played at growing up and the reason I actually have a chance to play, like there's just so many volunteers involved that try to try to make it as, as important as possible. Yeah. And, mate, you don't know how much that means until you're in a place like Adelaide where rugby really doesn't exist. Yeah. Like, to be honest with you, like it's quite easy to play rugby in Brisbane and Sydney because you've got GPS schools that give a fuck about it. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of clout involved in this and that and the other or whatever. There's an opportunity to play professionally, earn money. But, mate, you're an idiot if you play rugby in Adelaide. Yeah. Like it's done, <laughs> Nathan. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, all of us, because like you've really got to love it. It's a bit like in the states. Like that's why there's such a culture behind it in the yeah. states, because like there's MLB, there's NHL, there's NBA. Yeah. Like there's so many other avenues to make yeah. so much money. Like I think the minimum contract in NBA is 950 grand. Minimum. To be a, yeah, to be hell. to be a player in US dollars to be a player that doesn't play. Perfect. Mm. Like I want to be that guy. <laughs> seriously, the, I think the minimum Super Rugby contract is sixty or sixty five k. Yeah, to, oh, no, no, no. It was an extended training squad or to smash heads. Yeah, to smash heads, yeah. bro. And like, if you have any qualms about smashing heads, they go, okay, shh, there'll be someone else. No yeah. drums for 40, 45 grand when I was yeah. coming up. Yeah, fuck. So, mate, he, yeah, him, his brother, his family, they're yeah. one of the OGs. <clears throat> Um, before we get on to our Budgie Smuggling Baldies Bandits segment, uh, what's next, boys? Uh, sticking around in the Marlins or moving Mate, on? I tell you what, if you want this podcast to go for another two and a half hours, ask him what's next. <laughs> because the deep and meaningful bandit will probably end up Perfect. Cuddling, probably end up cuddling you, like right in this little nook and cranny here. And then He's headbutt you with his eyebrow. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> yeah, no, no, mate. Need to finish off my time in Bingra so I can have the option to extend my visa. Yeah. And then, what's, and then what's your plan? End of the year? Where are you going? End of the year, I'll go home for Christmas. Yeah. Because yeah. it's been a couple yeah. of years since I've been able to do that. Where's and home? Mother, London, England, motherland. Cardiff. <laughs> uh, and then, fuck, after that, man, I don't know, maybe I'll carry, carry on just travelling the world, playing footy. Yeah. See if anybody else wants That's me. That's a good thing about rugby. Yeah, exactly. It's the best, mate. The, yeah. Unless you're a real cunt, you're going to have 15 mates straight away. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to be a real fuckwit. And I've met a couple on the way. But you have to be a real fuckwit to fuck that up, don't you? Yeah, like... <laughs> you got to have a red hot I'll put the fresh on. No, no, but look, well, Pinkus, great bloke, doesn't yeah. drink. Still, great yeah, guy. You know, great to go ahead. You have to yeah. be a real squeezy to fuck that up. Yeah. You'll be fine. So there's, and there's, not, there's, there's honestly not too many of those in rugby, eh? No, nah, man. Nah. But the, mate, the tough part about it is that was that was always the plan, just fucking ride that for as long as I can. But then you land in Manly and you're like, shit, oh, where can I see goodness. myself ending up where I'm not there thinking, fuck, it was better off in Manly. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Manly would be pretty hard to leave, mate. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I don't know, man. We'll see. <clears throat> tell him about the photos. So to get him to stay next year, what was, Blake, what was Blakey doing? Texting you the photos? Oh yeah, no. This was to get me to come out here. Oh. When I first, um, when I first oh. kind of threw out, like I'd love to come and play yeah. in Shoot Shield. Like I'd heard about it in the UK, and I wanted to come see Sydney, so I chucked it out, and uh, a, an agent like plugged a couple of clubs to me. So I was actually I was speaking to like three or four clubs in the league. What were they? It was West Harbour, oh, <laughs> no, yeah. Concord, West Harbour Southern Districts. Yeah, but I, like I went into this with no knowledge. Yeah. West Harbour, Southern Districts. Fuck, another one maybe. West I, I can't. Funny yeah. Parramatta. And then, and then Paris matter. Yeah, and then it was actually a former coach of mine. A guy who coached Bishop Shields called Neil Tunner. Put me in touch with Blakey. Who so, lived in South Australia for a while. Yeah. So got on the phone to Blakey, had a yarn, whatever, and he kind of gave me the same spiel that every other club had given me. 
And then after we hung up the conversation, he just started firing me over photos of the Northern Beach. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Like, see, and by the time he's got to the 10 photo, of like, I oh, twist my arm, mate. You know, to convince him that. Like, I'm there. <laughs> Brazilian chicks at Manly Beach? Any of yeah, literally just chicks and bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> Working their way from Manly all the way up to like Mona Vale, just beach by beach. <laughs> <laughs> like, Did you take these yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <dude. laughs> Shit. And oh. it worked out well. <laughs> Look at him now. Yeah. Killing cows. <laughs> in a garage in, in Brisbane. <laughs> Killing cows in Big Red Estate. Oh, fuck. Living the dream. Let me back in the manly place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, so we'll jump into our Bordies Bandit and Budgie Smuggler segment. Who's your Bordies Bandit and Budgie Smuggler of the week? You want to kick us off, Randy? Uh, my Budgie Smuggler is Harry Higgins. <laughs> Um, happy doing, birthday! What's he been doing lately? It's happy birthday! birthday it's his birthday this week. Where? Oh. How old is he? Twenty-one. He's, thir- <laughs> yeah, he's thirty yeah. something. <laughs> Doesn't act like it. Yeah. No, <laughs> do we? <laughs> no. True. <laughs> so we cannot throw stones. But happy, happy birthday, Harry! Um, happy birthday, Higo. Any good, any good stories? Sort of a segue. Mate, I think it was the last podcast you were on when yeah. we went to PB. The PB. Oh, yeah. no, that place is like heaven. We, we drank enough piss to sink fucking that many ships. And then probably every second beer he'd yell social. And it was just like, okay, Scar, whatever you've got. Oh, is that what it is? Social. <clears throat> social. Like, just drink piss because it's socially peer pressured. <laughs> it was fucking unreal. And that ended up in, yeah, mayhem. You guys got in trouble, yeah? Yeah, fucking all the trouble. <laughs> that was when Johnny Mitchell was coach. Yeah. And so, like, and, and this is probably, probably one of my learning lessons of professional football career, which is don't take photos. No. Yeah. Oh. So I, I remember cruising home um, to the um, hotel. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, how, yeah. How many pro footy players have landed themselves in trouble? Yeah. And it's like if you just Don't left your photos. fucking phone at home, I know, you you'd be trouble. sound. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're cruising. So I'm on the same floor as a couple other fellas cruising up, back into my room, fucking blind at whatever time. An old mate looking like Jesus nailed to the cross. AJ is asleep with a towel over his cock and balls with his sunnies on. Took a photo, went to bed, posted it in the players group. Oh. Turns out in the players group was the manager of the team. Oh. Snitch so dog? <laughs> what a snitch dog. Who is he? Name him. Name. <laughs> <laughs> so he got punted out of like the leadership oh. group. And then Johnny oh. Mitch obviously found out about it. And like did the full fair income like you can you know when you see the whites of people's eyes you yeah. know they're being serious like <laughs> of the old fucking the old mouldy what pukana or whatever yeah, it's called yeah, that one he was doing that to us going do you think you prepared well f- for this week <laughs> oh those ones yeah probably Trying not Johnny <laughs> <laughs> no probably not because we bonded on, you dog yeah because we're on the piss at two p.m. in Pacific Beach <laughs> um, with Harry Higgins going. <laughs> I'm just here to drink piss pretty much <laughs> and send myself into like contact drills <laughs> is what you guy did um, fuck I love him mate great bloke great fella great mate uh, and my Bordies bandit it's probably me because I love Bordies nah no. I'm not even going to have one this week I've been having a good week Oh, well, we've got a few. Johnny's sent in his. Uh, we'll start with Thanks the for asking. Bordy's Bandit. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch uh, NFL, but Devontae Adams uh, pushing a photographer. Yeah, I saw uh, that. After the their Cowboys. One point loss. Yeah, 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 yeah. He apologised after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never yeah, apologised. Poor fella. Um, and also in the NBA. Uh, Draymond Green punching his teammate uh, John Poole. Yeah, I saw that it was on the full piece. clean. No, no, training. Yeah, I think yeah, they're right. just chatting and just they'll push each other. In the next minute, bang, yeah, just full right. clean punch. I don't yeah. know about you three, but I don't mind about that. I I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm a massive fan. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. have you seen any um, you know decent punch ups at training? Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> well. Again, like what I went back, going back to what I said earlier about how over here you in training you're doing eighty percent attack. Yeah. And it's all fun and training's quite enjoyable. Yeah. In Jersey, training on Tuesday, you're doing like 30 live malls. <laughs> and, it's, and the team's just been announced and then you're rolling out for it. So over the course of 30 live malls every week, some point it's going to flare up. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. boys used to scrap every, every month. At mate, least every month there was a full brawl. Mate, I was t- I've told the boys a few times, but just like playing those outskirts of London teams, you're just scrapping big lumps. And they're just like, they love it. Yeah. And like, I love it. They love it. I'm like, 
It's probably a bit of footy, man. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's I think, old, you, I think they love you, it more. Yeah, because yeah. no, you just like, yeah, I think they do, because you just like seriously go toe to bum, 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 and you just smack, bum, 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 and you just like your fucking nose broke, and you're just like, well, there's, yeah, there's, there's, like, old, on, like, there's old Star Wars in that league yeah, who yeah. are there purely like old school enforcers like back his one laughed at me style. yeah he laughed at me yeah yeah i fucking I, who I were you playing that shit, bro. it was him, uh brentwood who's that Brent brentwood right um it's like i think it's above london and he's a big dude and he's just been a big grub his name was brentwood no no he's, he's paying for brentwood <laughs> brentwood and Brentford. this big lump a big prop yeah. big prop and he fucking jam- it was just jamming people i was like fuck off mate and he's like Oh, no, I was fucking bang and just hit him and he just like <laughs> <laughs> well, that's tomorrow like, yeah man that, no, I was like, let's just keep playing footy mate <laughs> when I was at that Hartbury College yeah. I, I ended up <laughs> my first year I just totally fucked up all my academic stuff so I had to reset the year <laughs> so by third year it's like my, was, my fourth year <laughs> <laughs> by my third year there we had a senior side played in national one so that's third league down they were like oh, you can go and have a dabble in in the senior side if you want I'm like 17 They're like right go play in the second row for the senior side and cut your teeth so I, I just got dragged around the country getting filled in every <laughs> single week <laughs> by these gnarly second rows we ended up in uh, Bladen in Newcastle um, are they just tough the northerners just tough mate the further north you go the tougher the men get <laughs> and this this second row played for Bladen he's like a big sheep farmer from up there was notorious throughout the league for how hard he was and he had me marked and from minute one <laughs> from minute one man he just kicked my head in, in that game so it was myself and I had, I had a, my best mate at the time was also a lock same age and he's gone on to do did really he stand well up now. for you well is he wasn't playing that away fixture his name's joe batley he plays oh, for bristol so now oh, yeah, he does yeah. real well in the prem tears yeah. up in the prem you're on your own so when bladen came to our home game i was like listen bats this fucker kicked kicked my head in last time we played against him <laughs> so we're not having it between me and you we'll ramp it up and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna show him like he might be a, a fighter but we're rugby players and we're gonna put him in his place anyway or we're gonna win the game yeah yeah we're, we're gonna yeah we're that's gonna the rule JB's yeah lo and yeah. behold he kicked the shit out of both of us <laughs> for 80 <laughs> minutes we problems. both came in disheveled <laughs> into the chain room just shells of men mm. yeah there's oh, some hard oh, blokes oh, yeah, around I, I, actually, I actually got him back I actually got old mate back I was a real fucking grub and it's just at the bottom of the rock, just fucking just just strangled him. No, just his eyes. Just, <laughs> oh, you fuck. The double. <laughs> the double eye. Oh, the really? Fucking yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Man, like, the, most, the most fucked up I've got is from my own teammate. It was Celeste Mafu. Oh, oh, yes. <clears throat> in, in, at the force, the we force. had like some full noise training session, packed a scrum or whatever, <laughs> and pulled up from the scrum. And he just he looked at me and went, you fucking left me on my own. He was playing tight head. You fucking left me on my own. And I was a still a young pup. I was a super young pup. Yeah. And he goes, fuck you. <laughs> and I had nothing to say back to him. Like, it might be if I rebuttaled and said, yeah, oh, sorry or something. Maybe he might have <laughs> oh, left fuck. me alone. And just went, boff, across my chin. And my jaw just went, goof. <laughs> and like, still, I was like, oh, I don't want to hit him back. Because yeah, you win. Because I'll get fucked up. Oh, God. Those Mafu boys ain't to be fucked with. I played with his brother. Yeah. Uh, Is the one who, was, that, was that the one Northampton? Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and I still had my bind on him as a <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, well, I've got to drop both my binds if I can do something. So. Uh. Man, his brother's still banging yeah. for West Harbour. Yeah, year, Cookie Mafu. Yeah. Well, I don't know how old he is. No one does, but he's still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't he's know how old he is. Cookie. He's still killing it. Yeah, and he's or is it actually Cookie. Pardon me? Is it Campisi Mafu? No, no, that's another brother. No, no, yeah, different. Yeah, because there's, yeah, Celesi, Campisi, and Cookie. So Celesi and Campisi are both front rowers. Cookie mm. plays centre. Yeah. And just He's lights good. people up, mate. <laughs> like when, we, and he chased it. Because when we played West Harbour away, we had our number eight Manor goes well off the back of a yeah. scrum, like big dude. So Manor's kind of getting a bit of game line. And about 30 minutes of the game, Manor's picked up from eight, and Cookie's playing 13. And has come in across his 12 just, and his yeah. 10 and just fucking come in to light him up. Luckily, man, he fell over before the contact. The cookie was coming to take his head off. Yeah, he's a, he's a hard dude, man. Wow. Fuck. How good is that? Just don't oh, make that's me funny. Uh, My buddy smuggler of the week goes to the uh, Irish rugby league player who quit his job, teaching job, uh, so he could play in the rugby league World Cup the starting this weekend. Um, <laughs> who knows about the rugby league World Cup? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> this no, this weekend. Weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Yeah. But if you guys weren't pl- rugby players, if rugby didn't uh, ruin your professional aspirations, 
What would you be doing? I'd be a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I would be a virgin in Adelaide and I'd be working, I'd be working at McDonald's. Coles. Yeah. No, not Coles, McDonald's, bro. Plimpton Park, McDonald's, where my brother worked. I'd be serving soft serves. <laughs> And, and fucking apple pies. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Blumen Mackers. Properly, yeah. No, I'd be yeah. back in Adelaide. I'd be, I was fat and freckly and a ranger. <laughs> and then somehow I moved up to Sydney, and I was less fat, less freckly, and less. You look ranger. gorgeous at the moment. Mate. You're looking fit. What have yeah. you been up to? Me, mm. jujitsu. Yeah, oh. jujitsu. He's on that though. Yeah. I got jujitsu aids though. You can't see it because I got put pants on, but. <laughs> I cop the staff. Oh no! Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that twenty times. Fuck. Um, I don't know. I'd like to think I'd be a rower, but yeah. then by consequence, I'd be fucking miserable because rowing is there's no there's no joy. Yeah, in but us. rowers or, have sex though. You wouldn't be a virgin. Rowers or, or have part, sex. Or part time like cartoon gargoyles. You know those. <laughs> oh, oh, on the top of them. Yeah. No, yeah. it's just the brow. It's just the brow. It's just the brow. And, and the ears, or just the brow. <laughs> but I suppose if I haven't played rugby, I wouldn't have the ears. So I'd, yeah. be, I'd be better looking for one. Yeah. I reckon you're gorgeous now. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate you it. wouldn't be a virgin though. You'd have sex. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Potentially, but, Matt, with, if you had the with, it, with his murdered calves, yeah. and his- <laughs> <laughs> You'd have, if you had the energy to. But if you're rowing full time, it's yeah, miserable existence. <laughs> yeah, you're just going backwards your whole life. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Some of the heel scrums. Oh, <laughs> oh whoa! Mate. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what, mate? We'll just get that highlights up. Mate, we did you as well, so we could get that. How good are highlights? Have you ever seen a bad highlights reel? <laughs> have you nah. ever seen a bad highlights reel? <laughs> Everyone goes, oh, have, no. you seen, have you seen these highlights? Yeah, they looked unreal. <laughs> yeah. Nobody makes a shit highlights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only yeah, get mean? the good parts. Like, <laughs> you complete no. liability, just, a com- just oh. discipline, terrible discipline. Mate, yeah. I have seen one second row as highlights reel. There was not one line out. <laughs> Not one tackle yeah. <laughs> in a second rower's highlights reel. What did you do? Carried. He was thought good. that was important. Yeah. Was he good at carrying? <clears throat> did what second rowers do? Make a metre or two? <laughs> Just trundle off nine, man. <laughs> <laughs> hate him. You guys got any uh, anyone to shout out? We'll have some shout outs to end the pod since we're over two hours now. <laughs> <laughs> like we, the amount of shit. So we drove here talk, thinking about shit to bring up. <laughs> I don't think we've brought up any of the shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. We yeah. actually tried to put some thought into this. Didn't yeah, we? yeah. But then Sassel drinks two and a half crates <laughs> Byron Bay Brewery. How good Next minute. We, can we get That's a shout out to Byron good. Bay no. Brewery? Can you guys give us oh, a real sponsor us? Such good. Such a good lager. <laughs> you got any shout outs, Ryan? Um, no, nah, shout out to uh, everyone playing tomorrow at the Corporate Tens. Yeah. 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 Sponsored by Supply by Paladin Sports. Yeah, oh, I'm not going to shout you out because you guys fucked my jersey size. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> two XL, like in Pakistan, is obviously. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you think you want two XL? <laughs> Did you say what two you XL? Oh, two XL. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in a wetsuit. <laughs> Be in a wetsuit. Hey, bro, I got a. What, le- what size is that? Some jersey? left barrels. This. Yeah. This is five. Yeah. <laughs> You're not too yeah, XL. You, you were I'm too XL, man. Yeah, I'm not too XL. I was too XL this- when I was a flanker, mate. You're not a two XL. So this is my day to day bullshit dealing with front rollers and tight five when we supply jerseys <laughs> and they go, nah, it's too tight. <laughs> this jersey manufacturer sucks. Look at the, the actual size. Yeah. Chart. Or they just go, you know what, mate? You've eaten a couple of pies. <laughs> yeah. Guilty. Oh, I'm the whoa. fattest I've ever been. Really? Ever? Yeah, ever. Ever. 130 and, and you kilos. you feel happy? Well, I'm still going right. Yeah. <laughs> You're playing tomorrow, eh? Yeah. You coming off the back rope or? No, I'm a fuck captain. Bill Court, baby. <laughs> in the- I, I want to stop drinking beers. <laughs> oh, we had to. I'm going to be at work at five in the morning, boys. We're going to go. <laughs> I'll do a quick shout out if it's all right. Yeah, shout yeah. out. Yeah. Um, firstly, I will shout out Paladin because <laughs> yeah. Paladin and Cecil rescued me off the farm and brought me along and it's like case of fucking <laughs> mate to be honest just get amongst it to be honest mate everything else is perfect yeah socks shorts training kit fucking yeah. beautiful I was speaking to the owners no we but get, you know we'll what we'll get, we'll yeah. get Palin to sponsor this Palin and Budgie should sponsor this like we're that humble Aussie company though to be honest then the jerseys that you guys <laughs> ended up getting us they look beautiful <laughs> thank just you like, just like you shout out to Paladin shout out Paladin and I'll shout out 
my home club as well because I'll appreciate yeah. it. What is it? Yeah. Pentech. S- spell it. Pentech. Spell it. E N T Y R C H. Do you want to try and pronounce it? Aussie. Do you want to try and pronounce it in the Aussie accent? Can you do like Khmeria? What's that really long? Ah, uh, I, I won't nail it. I can have a crack Try at it. Plan var the pop going get auto again. It's plan to silly on go go go. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Something off Lord of the Rings. Name. Yeah. Is that where you put the ring to go? Nah, it's a train station. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, shout out Penta. Is where it all started. Shout out Jesus. Shout out Penta. And now here we are. Brighton as well. Brighton Tigers. Much respect. Nathan Sauer. Monty. Few fellas before me that yeah. gave me actually a chance. To Surely you're a bit pissed, mate, because you did sit down. <laughs> you can't, can't, you can't, half a can at least. I did say to you, blokes, have we got any piss tonight or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, lucky yeah, you yeah. got a can. We're going to get a 10 pack. Yeah. <laughs> 10 pack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shout out to you two boys coming on, especially you, Rory, last minute. <laughs> last hey, minute. Hey, natural. Hey, bite off more than you can chew and chew like fuck. Looking it? forward to the Coffee Club podcast. Yeah. Man, like, that'll be a good one. Mate, we're, we're definitely. Um, we're, are we bringing a gear down for that? For Manly. For Aqua? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shouldn't podcast down yeah. Manly. Yeah, Mate, do, it in the, do it in the bunker. Like, pretty similar. Oh, pretty oh, we've got, what, the actually, crew? Actually, that would be unreal. No, because we are not remember you. Yeah. Do, it, do it in the bunker. Yeah, yeah, well, sweet. we'll, we'll do sweet. We'll do it wherever. Yeah. But thank or, you for coming on, boys. you do it in the Curl Park gym? The Kel, no, we'll Kel do, Kel are we doing it at the Stain? If you get the round bar at the oh, Stain, right, that'd Stain, be yeah. unreal. Oh, yeah, so I think we go to the Stain. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we've got after party at Stain as well. Yeah. If you can have a crisis meeting at the Stain, you can have anything. There's a crisis at the Stain. So round bar at the Stain is heritage listed, which means you just can't change fuck all about that place. Yeah. Mate, what a place. I'm fucking pumped. And very, very pumped that you guys came on. And I can't wait. I've got to stop drinking beer. I've got to play tomorrow. Yeah. I, yeah. I've literally just been carried away because I'm like, fuck, I need every bit of fitness I can get. We did preseason yesterday. What do you mean preseason? We went 5K run. What? Cr- 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 he went for a one. Mate, I haven't really got one gear, man. I told him. He thought I was joking. 1K and one gear. Tell, talk talking about it. Mate, I bit my PB. So pretty much but how 4Ks much? in. So you're getting fitter. Yeah, I'm getting better, mate. He's like the little engine that could, and like I was running next to him, and then I never I, ran I, when I, I was playing as well. I was, I was, I was cramping. I'm like, fucking hell, I'm cramping. So I stopped stretch for a bit, <laughs> and, and I'm like going. looking at him, like he's like ten meters away from where I was. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I ran up to him, I'm like running, and then I'm like, fucking cramping a bit. So I stop, stretch a bit, and then I'm like, fuck. I literally run walking pace. Like there was ladies walking, and I was like behind him, same pace. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to get around him. And then I used up all my energy, so I was just pretty much same pace as them going. <laughs> But did you like put like a hundred, like a thirty kilo, forty kilo backpack on him? No, it's on his, it's on his belly. Oh, it's on his or maybe front. on the front though. Put the front backpack. On yeah, yeah, he's got it. He's already got it on. He can't get it off. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, make a comeback, mate. North. Same. Give it to the old ducks. But well, let's get. We're going to help North. We're going to help North next. Thirty-five year old ex. <laughs> they need all the help they can get. I'll come for three hundred bucks a week. So, he, so here's a so here's a question. So my plan is to retire playing Brighton Tigers, but if I had an extra six eight months in me. Yeah. To play Brisbane footy and finish on a fucking full blown high. What club East. is you coming to? East. Jeeps. Nah, East. The best club night. Nah, you got to be unbiased. You got to be real. Oh, unbiased. are we it's talking best club. social club? East. Best social club? East. East. They club You can't fault there. it, mate. We'll try and fight. I'll show you some. We'll send you some footage. Fuck, those cunts go hard. They have boxing nights and, and like, because they've got rafters, exposed rafters. And they have races ceiling, up there, yeah. And they have races up there, you get nude. What do you mean races? Like, like races, running across the trusses. Nude. And across like, the yeah. rafters. Like Racing, not, not like races, people. You're just pointing like, first, you're yelling yeah. out at people. You fucking run first, or, first orgasm or what? <laughs> no, just. Oh, that's. <laughs> that would well, be a maybe. good race. Yeah. We do that in tour. If you come in Bangkok, <laughs> come in tour in Bangkok, we'll Bangkok. have those kind of races. <laughs> Bangkok, ace. What the ace, yeah, yeah ace. mate. For a social club, they're funny as If club. I was coming for one more season, I'd get ace. But I'm going to North next year. <laughs> Not even to play. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm Jeeps, baby. At the Gallopers. All right, yeah. That was the longest outro as well. So thanks for listening to the podcast. Everyone do whatever everyone else does on the other <laughs> podcast. And uh, <laughs> catch you never. I love you all. <laughs> thanks for having us, boys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you're fucking half cut, can't.